In the new Star Wars Galactic Battle, put a strategic battle plan into place. Zero three zero nine. Identify. Star Destroyer. Isolate Mr. and incinerate your enemy. Electronic Galactic Battle with 20 authentic ships. Batteries not included. Now the power of the Force from Kenner brings you more big Star Wars detail and more big movie size than ever before. As a rebel pilot, climb aboard your sleek A-wing fighter and blaze into battle against Darth Vader and his terrifying TIE fighter. Fire! Now dogfight in space with Emperor Palpatine looking on. On Hoth, you fight alongside Hoth rebel soldiers against attacking snowtroopers and their laser cannons. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force. A-wing comes with pilot, other figures with vehicles each sold separately from Kenner. Now, fight for the galaxy with the incredible weapons of the Jedi Knights. The Luke Skywalker lightsaber and the new Darth Vader lightsaber. Both with blazing extendable light blades and three real movie sounds. Clash and strike Star Wars lightsabers. That is not included in Soul 7 and Kenner. Jedi, beware. Stormtroopers are on guard with their motion detectors and three sinister sound events. In hand, blast them. Switch to target and blast them before they blast you. The Stormtrooper Room Alarm and Laser Target. The Force in Room Alarms. Batteries not included. Interface with the Rebel Alliance over long distances using advanced technology. Initiate sequencing. Five, Communicate four, over 1,500 three, feet. Two, one. No can do. I'm still downloading. The Star Wars long-range walkie-talkie. Batteries not included. You must find the answer to all unanswered questions in the universe. Like, what is Chewbacca's favorite weapon? Which bounty hunter caught Han Solo? Who is this Star Wars trilogy? With original Star Wars photographs and three books with over a thousand questions. The Force in Quiz Whiz. Batteries not included. Train to be a rebel soldier with Star Wars laser tag. Cadets ready. Power up. Fire single or continuous burst over 50 feet. Train by yourself or with a rebel assault team. Use the force in laser tag. Star Wars laser tag. Batteries not included. The coolest Star Wars adventures are out here. And in here. It's the new Star Wars Double Takes Death Star from Micro Machines. Whoa! That goes from the Death Star to Luke's planet Tatooine. And back again! Out here, you command the Death Star. In here, you control planet Tatooine with six Star Wars movie scenes. Watch out for that Ronto! With the coolest vehicles and figures. It's awesome! For this much Star Wars action, you can play out here, in here, and back! Think big, play small, Micro Machines. New Micro Machines Star Wars Death Star Double Takes with vehicle and five figures. Other figure collections sold separately. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Straight from the new Star Wars Special Edition come the Creature Figure 2-packs. Now you're a Sand Trooper aboard the massive reptilian Dubak searching for rebel droids on Tatooine. Next, enter Mos Eisley as you and the Jawas command the Ronto. This beast of burden carries a heavy load, but only when it wants to. And waiting beneath the Millennium Falcon, Jabba the Hutt, as Han Solo bargained for your life with his vile gangster. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force. Right here, Jabba. Uh... 2-packs come with exclusive figure. Other figures and vehicles each sold separately from Kenner. The Force just got stronger with all new vehicles from the Star Wars action fleet. Coming in, Rebel Base! Han Solo and Chewbacca prepare for battle in the Millennium Falcon. Jump to hyperspace! He's got him! Imperial landing craft in range! Fire, Chewie! Blast him! With real Star Wars heroes straight from the movies. Rebel Lockheed Runner, watch your back! Blast him, Han! New Star Wars vehicles from the Star Wars action fleet. The Force is stronger than ever. Yeah! New Micro Machine Star Wars action fleet vehicles come with two figures, each sold separately. New from Galoo! So how does it feel to be at the controls of the new Power FX X-Wing? Strap yourself in to the biggest X-Wing ever with 15 heart-pumping movie lights and sound effects. You're Luke Skywalker. I'm going in. And Vader's breathing down your neck. Fire! The Power FX X-Wing, each sold separately. A total new Star Wars movie is coming next summer. And a new Jedi Master can be yours. Get the first exclusive Episode 1 figure, Mace Windu. Only when you collect six Kenner Star Wars figures. See store or Hasbro website for details. So how does it feel to jump into one of the all-new Star Wars gunner stations from Kenner? It's like being in the middle of an Imperial dogfight and Darth Vader is on your tail. You're Luke Skywalker. Hook up with Han Solo as you both fire your quad laser cannons. They're coming in fast. Stay on target and send Vader for a spin. Now the worlds of Star Wars are in your hands. Watch as Endor opens to reveal an Ewok aerial attack. Gunner stations and complete galaxy come with figure. Each sold separately. So how does it feel to enter the Star Wars? Darth Vader keeps universe? grabbing You're children! by the Empire on the all-new speeder bike. Slam on the air brakes and let him have it. Now you're in the Rebel Air Speeder. Attack wings locked, missile fired, at at burned. Vehicles come with figure, each sold separately from Kenner. Space is oh, no okay. longer safe in the new Good. Star Wars Galactic. <laughs> we don't, we can uh, move all on from seeing all those Kenner advertisements. Hello, hi. This, 
This camera is misbehaving. I, I'm buying new cameras. This is... Why does it do that? That started after a Windows update. I hate this. Luke's speeder can look like however I want to look, on it. honestly. <laughs> Every time I lean forward, it's like it's auto-adjusting. I hate this. I'm just gonna stay back. I'm just gonna stay back. Then I'll be fine. So... Wow, I think this music is actually quite loud right now. That's that's the seeker. I don't need that. When I collapse the equalizer, it gives me the volume. No, that's not. Yeah, that is. Everything is broken now. I have broken everything. Welcome to the show. It's working great. Uh, today we'll be playing Gundam 0079, The War for Earth. I'm going to talk about laser swords. It would do it with both of us on screen. I, I did... With the green... With my camera acting like this! It was too much of a pain to implement. <laughs> because it would see... It would see that green shit. And then go, oh, that's that's your body. And bounce off of that and get stuck off frame and then your points are wasted. So, I don't know. Sometime in the next couple of days, this... This is untenable. I... Untenable! Also, yeah, my light's a little lighty. One second. I... There's no excusing this. I am... Just... Coming into this stream hot. Work was a whole thing. But make myself a little less shiny. There. Yeah, this is slightly better. Still does it. Slightly better. Uh, elevenable is questionable. Alright, let's uh, get tiny. I mean, I was always tiny, but now I'm extra tiny. Also, I need to move a bit. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the Gundam. I've been burned by the Gundam before. But I've got it on good authority that if you play the game well, and correctly, it's less than half an hour long. And I have that on authority because I opened up the file directory. I should have music on while I'm talking like this. Uh, because I opened up the directory for the, where the game what came from, and every single FMV in that game is one file. And it just like tracks to where in the file to play. And that entire file is 40 minutes long, including every failure. So that game is not very long. Unless you're me, and then you can't figure out how to push the elevator button for half an hour. Yeah, that's true. The correct movement. There are, as we'll recall, technically seven buttons you can push. Because you can hit up, down, left, right, and then attack, defend, and interact. Oh, and then there's three weapons. So that's ten. The shield? I should never have to find the shield ever again. I have it forever, I think, because I only blocked that once, and then I blocked a nuclear blast. But I'm going to start from the beginning, uh, which should run a bit smoother this time, because for the sake of people who didn't tune into a Westworld stream where I got frustrated three quarters of the way through it, said no more, and I booted up, <laughs> booted up Gundam instead, uh, we're just going to get to see it. And that's fine. That's fine and good and just. Also, it still says Westworld 2000 underneath me. What? What is even happening in the world? Get out of here. 79 years have passed since crushing overpopulation drove humankind into space. To save the planet, a federation of Earth nations gathered their resources you do my to best. construct the sides. Groups of immense cylindrical colonies that could sustain the lives of millions in space indefinitely. The massive exodus seemed to herald a new peaceful age, the universal century. Over the years, the ruthless colonies struggled to gain greater independence from Earth. 
Realizing that the this Federation really would never grant them sovereignty, one one. of the sides defied Earth and renounced the Federation, forming the Duchy of Jean. Jean? Seconds after declaring war, Jean unleashed its formidable military against the Federation. Armed with their powerful Zack mobile suits, Zach? Jean crushed the unprepared Federation space fleets and conquered half of Earth before their advances were halted. <laughs> As Jean pushes on with its ruthless campaign, the leaders of Earth know that they have only one desperate hope. A group of mobile suit prototypes hidden on a side seven colony. As Char Aznable, Jean's ace pilot leads an attack Aznable. to capture these prototypes. <laughs> the future of Earth hangs in the balance. This is the story of one of those prototypes. The mobile suit Gundam, and the civilian who wills it to change the course of the war. I mean, I'll admit, for an FMV game, this this just goes hard right off the bat, and I'm here for it. I I love this game until I have to play it, and then I'm like, oh no. <laughs> But this time, I know what I'm doing. So I shouldn't have to see this intro's cutscene twice anymore. But I get to see it once. I love this intro cutscene. All citizens, please travel calmly to the spaceport. Side 7 is under attack by Jean forces. Civil defenses have already been deployed to protect the colony. I'm gonna push the button so good this time. Jean. And defend the colony. Everyone also saying Jean. Please, they all forgot. <laughs> Who are you? Nobody listened to each other. You're not a United Force pilot. You're the only one left alive in that hangar. Get onto that elevator and pilot the Gundam mobile suit. Sure thing, boss. Let me just uh, hit interact this time. The colony is under attack. You have to defend side seven. Oh. Enter the cockpit in the torso of the mobile suit. I, the hatch is already open. I do kind of like the idea of Neo-Quebec. Uh-oh. It's one of those Zacks. I found another United Force mobile suit. It's a white giant. Hold your position. I'm coming to investigate. All you have to do is activate the combat computer. When you enter the cockpit, the interface will turn on and automatically configure all the optimum responses based on your coordination. I wonder if I enter the button slowly here, if uh, it gives me more time to respond to the actual prompts. Y yes, en enable combat computer. Yes, please. A Gundam for every pot. I pushed move, but I waited for the bar to fill up a lot. Yeah, my react, my reflexes are real bad. So hopefully you uh, take that into account, game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. I don't want to eat crow here. Like I don't. I don't want to just, like, eat shit. <laughs> what are all the things people eat when they are embarrassed? I don't want to do any of those. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna shoot this guy twice with the good old 
head cannons or whatever whatever they're called. The white one just activated. Pull back and retreat. I'm almost at your position. We'll engage the mobile suit together. No, don't worry, it doesn't look armed. Do I have to eat the albatross too? Oh good, the Vulcan cannons are armed. I better use them. This white one is nothing. Pull back! I'm almost there! Just shoot him twice! I don't have time to fully explain what's going on here. But you need to leave the hangar and head toward the spaceport. Quickly, take Gundam's shield and watch out for Zack, he's still in the colony. Where's Zack? Okay, this time, I'm gonna remember to grab the shield. My objective is to make it to where I was that last time without making a mistake and dying. That is my goal. We'll see if I manage it. All right, got the shield. I should, I should save again, I'm a coward. Oh, I can't save here, that's right. That's what made this entire thing suck so much, is that every time I died, I had to go <laughs> grab the shield again. Alright, it was fine. Alright, shield. Oh shit! Oh shit, what's the button to switch weapons?! I forgot to switch my weapon to the beam saver! <laughs> the sponsor! <laughs> I think I saved. I forgot how to change weapons. The sponsor's pissed. The white one just activated. Pull back and retreat. I'm almost at your position. We'll engage the mobile suit together. No. I'm just gonna nervously worry, drink from my glass. I was I was talking such a big game. I was so this confident. One is nothing. Pull back! I'm almost there! I don't have time to fully explain what's going on here. But you need to leave the hangar and head toward the spaceport. Quickly, take Gundam shield and watch out for Zax, still in the colony. Also, if you don't hit forward there, it still goes forward. The game doesn't care if you do that input. Catch me later when I do the speedrun of this game. Nope. Nope. No! I was trying to move the camera! I tried to move the camera! Oh, Grimple's such a good sponsor. Thank you. That's actually a great idea. I would prefer. God. The white one just activated. Pull back. Sorry, I'm just. I'm almost at your position. We'll engage the mobile suit together. No. I'm like don't ten worry, minutes in, and I'm on tilt already. Shoot this guy with your head two times. White one is nothing. Pull back! I'm almost there! Okay. I don't have time to fully explain what's going on here. But you need to leave the hangar and head toward the What we do quickly take Gundam Shield is and watch out for Zach. Do not control. click anywhere near the door when we're trying to move the camera. Do not do not do that. Because you'll just go outside. I'm gonna click anywhere else. <laughs> okay, click on that wall to turn left. There we go. Grab shield. Ah, oh, so excited to have shield. Alright. Remember keys to switch web. Oh. Control makes me. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, whoa. What's outside that door? <laughs> the color gray? 
That's useful. This is a good function. This is something that every game should have. Uh, tab? Space. C and... V no. I can't pause the game here. I also don't think I can switch weapons when I'm outside of a cutscene. I think it's the space bar. I think it's the space bar. It is! Defend! Attack! With the sponsor! Defend again! I think the zoom button would improve Westworld markedly. We sighted a small squadron of Zacks closing in in your position. The red comet is- I'm gonna save real quick. I need to save before I meet the very good char, because the very good char flusters me and I forget to push buttons. ...among them, so you must be careful. He is John's most dangerous ace pilot. We'll be there with White Base in a few seconds, so don't get heroic and take on this whole squad. Destroy this white giant. It's a good char. Run towards the bullets! This battle is not finished, Federation. I swear my honor. And we're caught up! The entire part that took me like an hour? That was like five minutes for the game. So, you managed to steal a top secret mobile suit A new record. Type, endanger your life in combat, and blow a city-sized hole inside Seven. Mm-hmm. Impressive. He loves it! <laughs> I am in Sinoa Bright. Every time. <laughs> VD ranking officer left aboard. This ship is White Base. A Pegasus class warship of the United Force Space Force. Mr. Noah, sir. Um, we have just reestablished communications with Jawborough headquarters. I better save right now because I'm in the middle of pouring a drink because I don't think there's any inputs here. But it's gonna end up like, uh, if I don't push forward, my guy's gonna walk off the rail and fall to his death or something. So, uh, let's uh, do that before I pour the drink. Message on this monitor. Yes, sir. Who are you? Where's Captain Paula? I am Ensign Noah Bright, the most senior officer left aboard. During the attack, a Musai struck our bridge with a Musai? TAM missile. It is orb. Most of the Zero options. sugar. That's not the kind of news I'm Dr. Orb. Here. I am General Hani Asana at Earth Headquarters, Jabiro. Were you able to salvage any of the V Tactics robots from Sky The chat. 7? The chat thing is we still to get three mobile acting strange. Let me try refreshing it completely and see if that fixes it. Both gun tank and gun cannon are damaged, but repairable. Oh, or maybe your second message will come in just fine. I don't know. What do I know? I need you to immediately set yeah, they got a PhD. course for Jabiro in South America. With all due respect, General, I, I barely have a crew. And half the staff I do have are civilians. The situation has worsened on Earth. Jean is firmly entrenched on several continents, including North America and Europe. Uh, With the Gundam prototype, Drinkonomics. We can mass produce this more their PhD. at our Jabiro factories that will allow us to combat John's growing army. Without your help, the Federation will lose the war for Earth. So I'm promoting you to the rank of captain and allowing you to <laughs> any field promotions you wish. Yeah, they love fish for so Earth. much. I pray I'm gonna take this very seriously. I'm fighting for Earth right now. 
Just as Jabro has stuck with me for a captain. I have little choice but to ask a civilian to pilot the Federation's most powerful mobile suit. From what my engineers have told me, Gundam's combat computer is so intricate <laughs> that it tunes itself to the pilot so it can anticipate combat maneuvers. We couldn't reprogram it in a week, even if we had a level five technician. How do technicians work? Like? That's why I'm asking you, on behalf of the Federation, to accept an officer commission and pilot Gundam. I love that he's looking directly into the camera. Will you accept these wings? I didn't. I, I fucked up. Very well. There's a medical shuttle leaving for Luna 2. I'll make sure you're on it. <laughs> wait! 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 If I don't... If I don't accept the position to pilot the giant robot, everyone just dies? <laughs> I thought I thought it would just be like, oh, well, maybe maybe later. you don't feel like a pilot. You still need to drive it. But maybe you don't feel like a pilot. God. We have to watch a lot of cutscene again. I'm so sorry. Are you going to watch all that again? I'm turning the volume down a little bit because I'm just going to talk over it this time. But it's still a good jar. Look at that. Did you see the jar? I've only watched a little bit of Gundam. Like, out of all the Gundam, I've watched, like, one show. Um, so... But I can recognize a good char when I see it. He's watching. He's gonna love that blew up a building. You managed to steal a top secret mobile suit prototype. Sorry, satellite city. Endanger your life in combat, and blow a city-sized hole inside seven. Impressive. Yeah, I know it. I oh, I love, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Left aboard. Doug would probably also agree that was a very good char. Uh, is what I feel, but would also have much more insight as to what's actually happening here or like what they've adapted here which i'm guessing is gundam 0079 um who are you look i know what i need to know about gundam you got big white boy you got a laser sword during the attack a cool shield run at god cut him Flying half explosion, explosion, explosion. I saw a video clip of a human being floating in zero G, shooting a gun, getting hit with a beam saber, and they just turn into nothing. A, a, a great show. We did manage to get three mobile suits out before the testing facility was destroyed. Oh right, that is bigger Luke. Not Luke with two U's. Bigger Luke, different Luke. We are in a multi Lucaverse. I need you to immediately set white I need to pay somewhat attention for him to be like, will you? And when he hands his hand out like this, and at the staff I do have, and he asks me if I want to take the blue pill or the red pill, I need to make sure I take the correct pill. I think it's the blue one. <laughs> of course, they would pronounce it as luck. The Gundam prototype. We can mass produce more mobile suits at our Jabiro factories that will allow us to combat John's growing... So I, gotta, I, I do have to give them some credit, because when this game came out, it was like 96? And that is long before I started watching Gundam. So, I mean, I could see them trying to adapt some of the things to sound more American. I pray for your Oh no, I took uh, the bad one. But what if I don't want to live in the hell world? 
I have little choice. I, but I know the bad one I'm living in. Anyway, the pay attention. Most powerful mobile suit. We gotta pay attention. From what my engineers have told me. Oh wait, no, we don't. Gundam's combat computer. He's just talking about how the combat computer is tuned to me or whatever, and it's a super big deal, and I really need to pilot it. We couldn't reprogram it in a And yet he still offers it to me as a choice. That's why I'm asking you. On behalf of the Federation to accept an officer commission and pilot Gundam. Uh-huh. Will you accept these wings? Yes, I will accept your wings. Thank you. I got really clean nails. Welcome aboard, Ensign. Now go get some rest. We have the bridge repaired, so we will be leaving for Earth shortly. All right, now you need to push directional buttons to find your room. We, I'm gonna say. You must be that young hotshot. We're point and click now. The Gundam. I'm Lieutenant Kai Sheeden, the gun cannon pilot. And I'm Lieutenant Duke Jose, pilot of the gun so tank mobile suit. Your name is Duke Jose. <laughs> Even I'm impressed. They don't teach maneuvers like that in flight training. I can't believe how well you handled that mobile suit. You have to let me know how you made it fly so smooth. I pushed, First, I pushed up. We'll get oh, you no. into some clothes, so at least you look like an officer. And then we'll give you a full tour of the ship. What's wrong with the? If I talk to you again, oh, they won't let me talk to them twice. I should probably pay attention to this. Oh, finally we learned how to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I was worried for a bit there. Select and then activate the up or down symbols to move forward or backwards through the database. Select then activate. Oh, I see why, because activate is a button. The symbols to move to the selection screen. Should I get my finger ready to activate? I'm afraid. What's gonna happen to me? are a welcome sight, Char. It's been too long since we've last talked. And it's good to see you again, old friend. Now then, Commander, have you been able to track the Federation's mysterious Trojan horse? Yes, for the past two days. They have the V-Tactics mobile suits, and are apparently ready to enter Earth's atmosphere, most likely to land at Jabiro. We cannot allow that to happen. No, Colonel Garma. I will personally destroy Gundam and White Base as they descend in the air. Look at that char! It's in descent trajectory to Nevada Base as your battleship falls to the atmosphere. If they somehow do get through your squadron, we will let Thor deal with them. For the glory of Jean, I wish you success. Thank you, Colonel. I will not disappoint you. Prepare my Zack for combat. Is and Zach ready? ready. The beta wing pilots. We better save, even though it's gonna make me watch the very good Gundam again. That makes sense. Like this seems like, at least on paper, this game seems like it was supposed to be an introduction to the idea of Gundam to the U.S. I mean, if I had a certain sign that did red alerts, I'd, I'd write what it is right on the sign. Loud game loud. You will find Gundam's beam rifle in your weapon selection. This weapon draws power directly from Gundam's huge. Ooh, I got a, I've got a beam rifle. Shot sparingly. You are about to confront a small squadron of Zacks led by that blasted red comet. We'll do whatever we can to help you. Good luck. Wait. 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 You told me, <laughs> wait, <laughs> how do I shoot them? Oh, it's control. All right, uh, arrows, arrow keys are movement. Push control when it says lock on the screen. I don't think I'm gonna win this. I know that I seem to be running out of bullets.
A sad show of marksmanship, my friend. Zack pilots, engage the battleship. This white giant is mine. It's a shame this will not... I'm gonna save a different save, because I don't know if the, I fucked up or not. Put the number two at the end of it. Even be a challenge. Was that why it was so ridiculous to try to fight them? Because they, I wasn't supposed to win? You are all as unthinkable as We will be controlled no longer. You are a good soldier. So I will grant you a swift death battle. Wait. Z! Z! Okay, I, I couldn't... My arms were grabbed. I couldn't use the beam saber. I was not allowed to use the beam saber because my arms were closed. A sad show I'm guessing. I'm guessing friend. I'm supposed to use the. Zack pilots, engage the battleship. This white giant is mine. Am I supposed to fail that it's event? Shame this will not even be a challenge. Or is this just like a fallback because I did bad? You are all as why is he hugging me to death? Yeah. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Defend! Keep shooting! Defend! I didn't hit the pen. I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> I think I needed the laser sword him. Sorry, beam saber. Totally different. We'll talk about it later. Marksmanship, my friend. Zack pilots, engage the battleship. This white giant is mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beam him. Will not even be gonna attacked. give him the beam. I'm gonna try to save after I break out of the grip, and it should snap me to the next. No longer! It's fun that it shows that I took damage in the bottom right, like it, if there was anything I could have done about it, you know? Uh, I'm gonna save this to save three in case the save point backfires on me. Do I think this char would be good at karaoke? No. I think this char would be poor at karaoke. He does have a voice, but like I bet his voice doesn't modulate. You! Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, you will lose your grip on me! While he squeezes me to death. I think the char loves me. Is this what love is like? I'm so confused. Oh wait, shield. Shield! Shield instantly! Sword! 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 Sword is not correct. Maybe it was just shoot more. Maybe that was the right move. Shield! No! I did it again! I saw that I had the beam rifle. I, I wanted to try to use the, the g big gun. It's fun to let me save with no reaction time. Shield! Shield! Okay. I think Beam Rifle was correct. And then I bet I follow up with a different weapon. And I bet it's, I bet it's the sponsor. I bet I follow up with the sponsor. Yeah. 
you are correct. This is very Dragon Larry. Hmm. Maybe, maybe the the head head gun. Maybe the the head gun. Unless this entire if this entire fight is a dead end, I'm going to be pissed. For the record. This entire fight is memorization! Okay. So, sequence of events. This is important, we have to memorize it. Defend. We use the rifle. Head cannons. Defend. Question mark. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do after that point. <laughs> but we'll find out. Maybe I can make a save there. Do you think that's risky? Do you think that's risky to try to time a save in there? It might be. This is a defend, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on. Uh... You know, I'm gonna make a brand new save. Defend, you fool! That seems right. I don't know. Oh yeah, wait, I tried shooting him again. Could you, could you confirm to me if I'm on a completely dead end? If this is all bad, uh, I don't know if it's fun or interesting to watch me fail over and over again. But if this is, if I'm supposed to fail it, then I don't feel as bad. I don't know if this is like a silent steel situation. Well, that's good to know that I can't win that. I think maybe I have to defend again there. <laughs> you know, this is what happened. This is what happens when you send a civilian out in your super war machine. They go and they're like, I don't know, pull out the rifle? No, it's not. No, you idiot. If you had trained in the academy, You'd know that wasn't the thing you were supposed to do. You're supposed to try to punch them with your fist. Maybe I was supposed to defend twice. Maybe it's defending twice. Ah, oh, my leg! Wait, wait, wait! That seems right! <laughs> <laughs> that seems like I was supposed to lose the leg. I didn't expect to be Dragon Slayer either, honestly. SpongeBob voice. My leg! My leg! I can't do it. Imagine in your head the SpongeBob voice saying my leg. There we go. That's what that is. He's so happy. The pilot will surely die in re entry. Oh, this seems bad. Gundam pilot. We have lost navigation for the moment, so you will have to re enter alone. Balance your energy reserves so your heat shields can withstand the re entry. Oh, interesting. 
Gun over and over? That seems wrong. All right. Balance my energy. Go to thrusters. Go. Heat shields. Thrusters. Heat shields. Thrusters. Heat shields. Thrusters. Life support. Thrusters. Heat shields. Thrusters. Life support. Thrusters. Heat shields. Thrusters. Life support. Heat shields. Remember, I give it a little bit more to thrusters. Go into the heat shields for a bit longer. Life support just a bit. Yep. Yep. Now, how about thruster? Heat shield? Maybe? Thrusters? Heat shields? Thrusters? That seemed to work! Our fusion reactors have been compromised. So we have no choice but to land now and begin repairs. You I better save. Begin repairs. Got it. Now, I'm taking notes. Must bring Gundam in immediately, dock the mobile suit, and await your orders. Sure thing, boss. Neo? What Neo did I land in? Was it Quebec? <laughs> I gotta talk to my buddies. Whew. That was some intense combat. <laughs> you took on Shar Aznable and handled him like he was a rookie. <laughs> oh. Looks like he did a little bit of damage to Gundam, though, before he got away. We had a tough time ourselves, just defending White Base. There were so many Zacks swarming everywhere. I almost thought we were going to get overwhelmed. I love seeing these uniforms. I kind of want to... <laughs> could, I, could I obtain one of these jumpsuits? These are good jumpsuits. That's all I'm saying. All right, database functions. Yeah, okay, I read those instructions. Continue. Oh my god, there's stuff to do now. Last time I did it, it just kicked me out. All right, what do we got for mobile suits? We got a Gundam. That one looks pretty good. Wait. It... Sorry for the delay, but we've been busy coordinating repairs. Was... That blast was shot from the Thor cannon. One of Jean's deadly new surprises. We can't return to the air until that threat is neutralized. Since Gundam's leg is under repair, our engineers will replace it with Gun Tank's bottom mechanism. Hell yes! Gundam pilot, your mission is to track down the Thor cannon and destroy it. Lieutenant Sheedin and Lieutenant Jose will stay to guard White Base. Good luck. I love my favorite thing in Mecha nonsense is when Mecha what have leg get replaced leg with tank tread because tank tread work better here. Love that shit. It's one of my favorite things. I'm gonna save the game. I'm gonna say, call the save tank treads. I love. Okay, I don't think I can put a comma in there. I think it'll get mad at me if I put a comma in there. But imagine a comma. I love that shit. There we go. This is a good save name. Look at it! They painted it even! Strange fallout particles which would deionize the accelerated heavy metals of the beam rifle. So we have replaced it with the hyper bazooka. You have limited bazooka rounds, so shoot carefully. Wait, is this Neo <laughs> Vegas? A full wing of Gauss has just been scrambled from Sean's California base. So California? It looks like you now have a time limit. That means no gambling or sightseeing for you. This is Vegas! Also, I found that this place is. This is Neo Vegas! <laughs> I'm losing my mind! <laughs> we can't stop the gamble in Neo Vegas! It's where the bats live! Heavily mined with proximity bombs. Use your sensor filter to help avoid them. <laughs> As if all that wasn't bad enough, I've been receiving loads of enemy communiques from around the city. Looks like those one-eyed clowns are crawling all over the ruins. So be careful out there. These are the ruins? Wait. The ruins of Neo Vegas? I can't save here, so I'm actually a little afraid, because it shows I could go that direction. This is like some Google Maps shit. Alright, let's wait. Is there anything interesting here? What's going on over there? Can't 
I like how they give you the option to zoom, but they do not give you better textures to look at when you do it. Like, I'm- Oh, I wonder what's on that sign out there. I bet it's gonna be cool. I better go look at that. No. No. Well, here's the interesting thing. This nonsense that it's doing here, this little 3D turn, I looked through the game assets. This is just something that QuickTime Video could do at the time. Like, it could do a 3D video. If you ever ran, like, the old Encarta stuff, like, you may have encountered that old Encarta stuff, they did some 3D video. And, like, you could twirl, twirl it around and stuff. So that's just all this is. It's just a 3D picture, but you could run that inside of QuickTime. Yeah, times used to be cooler. Um, alright, so here's my current dilemma. I have four directions I can go, and I can't save the game. There's something purple in the way here, so I don't like the way that look. I meant to turn the camera. I meant to turn the camera. Oh, we seem okay. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna cut scene, I'm gonna save the game. All right. I'm, oh yeah, I should have equipped a hyper bazooka. Oh, I can't equip it when I'm in the this scene because the button to change weapons makes you zoom. Damn. All right. Well, we're within 150 meters, so it's got to be pretty close. Let's just drive down that way. It shows the bazooka ready. Uh oh. It didn't even give me an option. It didn't even give me the option to try to not do something, to like save myself. I just wandered into a bad thing and died. Sorry for the delay. But we've been busy coordinating repairs. Puts me all the way back here, huh? That blast was shot from the Thor cannon. One of John's dead. I probably have to come around the side of it. We can't return. So the way I went, that threat is neutralized. It's bad. Since Gundam's leg is under repair, our engineers will replace it with gun tank's bottom mechanism. Yeah, I think the first time you either run into the side of them and take them out, or you run in the wrong direction and die. And destroy. I think I see, that's the we binary thing that happened day, here. We'll stay to guard white base. Good luck. So I go right on the map first up, and that's where the enemies are. Because last time I, wait, no, I went left and then up. Because I went left by accident. So I need to go up and then left. 3x odd on craps. A full wing of Gauss has just been scrambled from John's California base, so it looks like you now have a time limit. John's no California Adventure. For you. Also, I found that this place is heavily mined with proximity bombs. Use your sensor filter to help avoid them. Sensor filter. If all that wasn't bad enough. I've been receiving loads of enemy communiques from around the city. Looks like those one-eyed clowns are crawling all over the ruins. All right, I'm gonna move. Uh, oh yeah, because I went left. I just need to save the game. Maybe I'll go left on purpose? Because I know left is safe for one move. And I can pause here, right? 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 Okay, well. I was wrong. I'm saved up as far as I can possibly be saved. That's how Neo. That is how Neo Vegas do. <laughs> That's how they get you. You know how it. It's messed up. That these are ruins, and they were like, no chance to sightsee or gamble. So if I go left right now, that's where the guns are. Do you think I get the drop on them because I'm coming from the side? How far is one screen? How far is a block in Neo Vegas? Oh, well, I'm going north by accident. 
the button's ready. I'm about to change the name of the save file. Sorry for the delay. But we've been busy coordinating repairs. Turn us down while you last was shot talk over it. Cannon. One of Jean's okay. New surprises. So Jean has surprises in Neo Vegas. And the surprises are in place turrets, Zacks, because that's what we call them in this world. And maybe something else? I'm actually kind of impressed that they bothered putting two different kinds of enemies in. Honestly. Lieutenant Sheedin and Lieutenant Jose will stay to guard Whitebait. If this was... This game's not cheap. Good luck. It's just rude. The sandstorm raging out there is kicking up some strange... And I would... Particles I would try... Going, like, north and then left to see if I can get the drop on those turrets. But at the same time, I'm concerned. 3x auto not craps, by the way. We got some bad things coming our way. A full wing of Gauss has just been scrambled from Sean's California base. So it looks like you now have a time limit. That means no gambling or sightseeing for you. Also, I, love I found that this place is heavily mined with proximity bombs. Could you tell me where the proximity bombs are? As if all that wasn't bad enough, I've been receiving loads of enemy communiques from around the city. Looks like those one-eyed clowns are crawling all over the ruins. I'm gonna try going right. I'm gonna try going right. I know that's the wrong direction. Where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. Hi, mouse. Uh, right, I guess, I mean, east. Oh man, I do like these tank treads, though. Look how cool, oh, look how cool it is! I get mad at this game, and then I'm... I get happy at it again. Well, I guess there's only one way to go. What, what is this? Wedding world? Now, this is... This is environmental storytelling. Next to wedding world. Destruction. A giant building has this jackpot on it. <laughs> and you're like, Oh, what happened here? Loveys? Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Can I go to Wedding World, though? I'm not allowed to go to Wedding World. I have to go back. So it's looking an awful lot like I go north and then... No, not that way. Or I can go south. I haven't tried south yet. South? No. Worth noting, south is not the direction I want to go. That is further away from where everything I want is. But, maybe this is the kind of bullshit game that would be like, oh, you actually do like a weird U-turn around and come in from the other direction. No, that's actually, it turns out that's actually where they put the mines. That's not the way you're supposed to go. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. But we've been busy coordinating... My enthusiasm repairs. level dropped. That blast was the save needs to reflect it. Cannon. One of Jean's deadly new surprises. This is just trial and error. I have gone every other route now. The only thing left is to come at the turrets from the side. Gundam pilot, your mission is to track down the Thor cannon and destroy it. Lieutenant Sheedin and Lieutenant Jose will stay to guard White Base. Good You're gonna have two people guard White Base? Sorry. I did, I, this didn't process before. I am questioning this person's military acumen or whatever. You're defending the base with two people, one of which doesn't even have a giant robot anymore because I stole its legs. Its legs, which are really cool tank treads. So, like, if something bad happens, they, like, 
I mean, I saw that I saw that video of a person getting hit with a beam saber and they turn into nothing. Our sponsor, by the way. <laughs> I'm a little afraid of them. <laughs> so, I am given the impression that my boys, what be hanging out, are on a, a doomed mission if I don't do what I'm supposed to out here. All right. So we go north. Let's turn the volume back up. So we can really appreciate the sound of the tank treads going. Okay. Well, I didn't try going right yet. But let's go left. Let's discover what's that way. I bet it's fun. I bet it's going to be just fine. Ow, I hit my elbow on the desk in that direction. Get the buttons on the get the buttons at the ready. Buttons at the ready. I'm ready to push buttons. This is where turrets were. Also, south is closed to me now. Yeah, it's emerging gameplay. All right, mobile suits to get detected. One of these two tray of paths have mobile suits. How can I tell which one? There is no way. It's just guessing. I'm going that way. Uh oh. You know, this game does have the option to play back everything you did as a, as a video. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny if that's how the show ended. Is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm so glad I made that an emote. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Hey, did you know that we won't have time to stop in Neo Vegas to gamble? The ruins of Neo Vegas. What, what the fuck happened to First Vegas? I, I mean, First Vegas was already on the way out. Like, honestly, it was going to do it to itself. What the fuck happened to Neo Vegas? Is it the same thing? Did they just build the city again and went, oops, we, we made it into a, a shithole again. At least that has Wedding World. Good luck. I mean, if it didn't have Wedding World, I would say this place was truly lost. Why are the lights still on? If this is the ruins of Neo Vegas. Wait, now I'm actually questioning their claim that these are ruins. I mean, there are like check chunks of it that are broken. Yes. But the power is still on. And this guy implies, he just implied I might do some sightseeing or gambling here. So the businesses are still open. Alright. North. West. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm going to remember the way to go. I mean, when I go west, there's only... I should be writing this down. Where's a... Paper? Pen? Pencil? Pencil! <laughs> this is what... This is... You're, when, when you're a good tabletop boy, like I am, you have paper and pencil mostly at the ready so that you can jot thing down what happened and so you don't forget. And now that skill has come to me. I just need to make sure I don't uh, forget to write north. 
So it's north, west, north. And I believe I tried to go west again. And west murdered me. So I'm going to try going north here. The music changed. Get ready. Haas has been re-enabled. This is the right way. We made it. <laughs> Free of Neo Vegas. We did it. We. <laughs> I started writing it down and I did... Get out of here. I don't need you anymore. Thanks, paper and pen. Without you, I couldn't have done it. Actually, this is a very fancy pencil. Because I'm an engineer and I like... This is a Graph Gear 500. This is actually a very good pencil. I really like this one. It's the 0.5 millimeter. Uh-oh. I think my, um... I think my computer's too fast. Oh, please let me shoot one of these. Thank you. Oh, fly lower so I can shoot your ass. Or fly higher. One or the other. They keep flying off the side where I can't actually aim at them. What? That didn't count? It said lock. Does lock not mean the same thing as it does in today's world? I think I'm dead. Gundam pilots. This is White Base. Maintain your position. I am saving after that. Uh, the overwrite free of Neo Vegas. But is that still true? We are sending the gun parry transport with your repaired legs. Oh, they're gonna give me my legs back. Nothing bad could possibly happen. This is where the horse has corralled itself. Look at the char! Well, white face, you may prove to be more useful to me than dangerous. He's so happy! And because he's happy, I'm happy! Shoot everything! I'm gonna save here. I've really messed up by starting to name them word things because th this save file <laughs> used to go in order somewhat, and now it's um all over the place. So here's what I'm gonna do to fix this. I'm very smart. I'm I am so clever. Z01 can't backfire on me. It's going to go to the end of the list and be the first article there. Inside base. I'm a genius. Shoot that? It doesn't like me attempting to shoot that. Savor it? Doesn't like it. Gun it? <gasps> you come to claim the Thor Khan. How could you possibly hope to defeat It just doesn't let you do the wrong thing. My shield! I tried to shoot him. Yeah, you missed, you missed the ruins of Neo Vegas. Which was still functioning, apparently, because the signs were still turned on. And the guy was like, you, you can't stop the gamble or sightsee. There are fucking bombs in the road! <laughs> but people are there rolling the dice!
Anyway, I came up with a very good save system, and now they're all going to be in order. They meant it. Could not stop the gamble. All right, we're going to get the our sponsor ready. What? Shoot the thing with the gun! Have you come to claim the Thor Khan? I got a use shield. How could you possibly hope to defeat a Sean Thanks. Eat shit! <laughs> Save the game. <laughs> Z02. Eat shit. There we go. Good saves. Good saves. No! Continue! I should have tried to shoot him. Who didn't expect two of the swords? Well, here, move the increment. Okay, good. I tried to shoot him with the cannon. <laughs> that was not correct. Do not, do not shoot with the cannon. I think it's fist. Aha! Fingers ready to run. What? Why didn't you stand there like an idiot? I told you to go backwards! That's the direction you should be going from an explosion! Maybe I have to run at the explosion. That that seemed to work pretty good before. You know, honestly, that was my bad. I should have run towards the explosion. Uh, two of them. Alright, so we throw him over the edge because he's a big old dummy. We save again. Z04, big dummy. And then I have to try to run a direction. I'm gonna try to run at the explosion. Are you fucking kidding me? So, the young pilot actually succeeded. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. Oh, that's the costume! Colonel Garma, I have located the Federation battleship. The battleship they call White Base and its mobile suits are at Nevada base right now attempting to destroy the Thor Cannon. We need your gals for air support immediately. We are passing over Las Vegas right now. We'll be at Nevada base within minutes. Wait, it's just regular Good Las Vegas? Work, my friend. My friend. You are about to find out how deeply my hatred for you and your family runs. They better give me, like, Godchar's so cool, though. Sir, the Jean airships have corrected their course as they are now directly above us. Prepare to bring those two ships down! I'm gonna have to watch a long cutscene when I fuck this up, huh? Colonel Garma, want a heavy attack from White Base? Turn this ship around now and bear all guns on White Base. Garma, don't you know when you're finished? Char is so happy to be what there. Have you done? White Base is here, not at Nevada Base. We're under attack. I have dreamed of avenging an injustice. Your father killed to become the ruler of the Duchy of Jean. 
He murdered the man who brought freedom to Sai Tui. The crime was near perfect. Except Dagon Zabi mistakenly neglected to kill Daikun's son. I'm here for this. I love Kazbil this shit. Kazbil Daikun, the son of the true ruler of Jean, is hidden under this. You don't need it explained. You're here for the roller coaster. For all these years. For your father's crime, I will wreck my vengeance on the whole Zabi family. And the trail of blood starts with you. Shar, you crazy traitor. Well, I'm sure we're gonna have to see this cutscene again, so I'll figure it out if he said Czar. Shield! No, run right! I don't know! Fuck! I have to push towards them. It's always run after danger, right? That's like, that's that's the right move, is to run directly towards the danger. Like, when something explodes, every time something explodes, you run dr I'm gonna get big, because I'm gonna yell about this! Every time something explodes, you run at it! That's not how you're supposed to handle danger, I don't think. I do not think that is how you're supposed to handle danger. And yet here I am. Dead. Shows what I know. <laughs> the flames! If, if you run into the flames, the flames can't catch you. Because you caught them. Fuck. Let me load up. You fucked up. We have to watch that entire sequence again. I'm gonna, I, mean, I turned it down a little bit so I can talk over it while I get mad. I'll let me turn it back up if he says size he says Czar. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. I need to know if he says Czar. Colonel Garma, I have located the Federation battleship. The battleship no, he doesn't say it until he gets flustered. And its mobile suits are at Nevada base right He's now. super happy right now though. Destroy the Thor cannon. We need your gals for ASO The tank treads are gone. We've got legs again. Right but I still like them. Good work, my friend. That, that box took forever to show up. What the hell? I my I might have to start moving off of stream elements. Just run it off of my own box. My hatred for you and your family runs. See, like they they allude a little bit to that the betrayal happening because he's like, you'll see. This is the only time I bet that this lady is in the in the entire thing. Goodbye, Garma. God, he's cool. Colonel Garma, want a heavy attack from White Base? Turn this ship around now and bet all guns on White Base. Garma, in the background. <laughs> Char, what have you done? Said, base is here, not at Nevada. I am 100% certain he says Char. Well, not like Char. Like, Char. Maybe Jar? The ruler of the Duchy of John. He murdered the man who brought freedom to Sight. I'm glad I get like five minutes to think about what my input should be, by the way. His name was Sh But then why did everyone else say Char? Legitimately, earlier in this game, somebody said Char. But then also in the same game, one person said Zack, and the other one was said, like, Jack, and then one person said Jean, and another person said Jean. And the trail of blood starts with you. Char, you craven traitor. I also think you have to go towards the explosion. For the record. Because that's just what you do. You're a hero. Run at it! Sorry. I'm just gonna... I have to look indignant for a second. Once again, that is the right move to make. Every input, where is directional in this game?
is directly towards the danger. Everyone, every single one. I'm, I'm the danger. I, I'm the danger. I'm the danger. <laughs> The sword ready. Not the sword? Not for that? The sponsor doesn't work on that guy who's just like hanging off the side of this thing for some reason? It didn't it didn't do that one? I'm not actually the danger. Wait, that was really good acting. <laughs> they got the direction to be like, all right, there's an explosion in front of you, and go. And they were like, no! Nah! If I am to die, it will be a death that honors my father and the Duchy of Sean. May you burn in hell, Shar, for the freedom of Sean! Gundam, that gal is heading straight for White Base. There's no way we can let off in time. We have to unleash all of our batteries to knock The Duchy of Sean. So watch out for our stray fire. Try to divert its course somehow before it ramps right into us. Wait, why don't I just get off of it? Towards the missiles! It didn't work! <laughs> the one time it didn't work! <laughs> this game is- this game is making me lose my mind. No, wait! No, not that direction! It's alright, we can load. <laughs> it legitimately does work 80% of the time so far. Ah! Alright, we'll we'll just turn this down for a bit while I talk over it. <sighs> Alright, what direction do you think I have to push to get away from those missiles? If it's backwards, that seems wrong. So I might, my, I'm, my gut says go left? For no reason. But other than it's not backwards. Also, most people do not go left first when given an opportunity. Which is why I think that's how it's gotta go. Here we go. Left. There doesn't need to be any audio in the background for me to be like... <laughs> I figured this game out. I know how this game thinks. It's me. I'm so smart. Z08. I'm so smart. Doesn't look like that ugly bird's gonna change course. I tried to go right. I should have gone forward. That time should have been forward. Doesn't look like that ugly bird's gonna change course. Try taking out the cockpit. I forgot to push a button. I do think it's... Alright. Walk forward, use the beam saber to pierce the cockpit. I think that's the way to go. I gotta regain my confidence. I am so smart. Doesn't look like that ugly bird's gonna 
change course. Try taking out the Why do I have to do everything? Why do I have to do everything? That man, that, that man turned into nothing. I am the one in the Gundam, that is correct. FORWARD! <laughs> Every time! Except for once! Well, for a second there, it just didn't look good. Great job, Lieutenant Sheedan. You three have done the impossible. I'm on Capitan. Does this mean I can finally get a vacation? Hey, you guys! I'm almost in the hangar! Oh, he's gonna die. Without me, do you? Whoa, what in the blazes was that? Did somebody just take a shot at me? Hey, wait, I just saw a red flash. What? Whoa, hey! Whiteface, Kai, Gundam! I'm under attack! Duke! Duke, no! Not Duke! That's Char's mobile suit! Battle station. We have a hostile intruder in Hangar 1. Gundam, engage immediately. Excellent. So, all of the pieces have conveniently assembled together. <laughs> Look at this char! <laughs> so that I can finally put an end to this tiresome chase. Now, Gundam, I believe you deserve the honor of I'm getting my shield ready. to destroy all of the Federation's prototype mobile suits. Holy shit! Wait, why did you shoot the other guy? Forward! Towards the danger! <laughs> it wasn't forward. I didn't- I have not seen a blue Zaku. I didn't even see a blue Zack. Neither. I did fight a- like a gray one. That had a cool rope. He tried to- he ripped my shield out of my hands. What a jerk. Ah. It's forward from here, by the way. I, I don't know if I respect this thing saying Zack. I don't know. I don't know if I'm there yet. Well, for a second there, it just didn't look good. God, the only thing that Great redeems job, this kid. entire bit is that I do get to see Char again. If I didn't get to see Char again, hmm, I would be upset. Hold up. I forgot this guy's na full name. Did somebody just take a shot at me? It was something ridiculous, hey, wait, like Chuck Dallas or something. Whoa, hey! Whiteface, Kai, Gundam, I'm under attack! Duke! Oh, Duke, Duke, no. Duke Dallas, that was his name. That's Char's mobile suit! Battle station, we have a hostile intruder in Hangar 1. Gundam, engage immediately. Excellent. <laughs> so... All of the pieces have conveniently He's so happy. So that I can finally put an end to this time. He's not happy anymore. Now, Gundam, I believe you deserve the honor of watching me destroy all of the Federation's prototype moments. All right, so I didn't commit to forward last time. I don't think I pushed it fast enough. I'm going to try again. Pause the game. Z10 forward was right. The timing window on that input is like nothing. I was mashing the button before it came up and this time I took it. Sword him! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Sorting them was not correct. Punch? Maybe a fist? Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> just you just punched the bazooka out of that man's hand. He just done punch the bazooka out. The hyper bazooka, mind you. Everyone's got him. They're all hyper. I'm just gonna go right to Z11 hyper bazooka real quick. Yeah, I just I just slapped Char. Did you just punch God? Is like also a good question. Wait a minute. That entire sequence was pure luck on my part. I just happened to cycle to the weapon. I just happened to hit left instead of forward. That was inexplicable. Z12 inexplicable. This game would be a lot better if I wasn't saving constantly, but at the same time, how many times do you want to see me do the same thing over and over again? Probably not many. I see your aim still needs improving. So, Gundam Piper, do you think you can hit me from this range? I'm sure you have enough skill to only strike me and miss your friends on the control bridge. Yeah. Come on, Gundam. I'm not a coward. I'll shoot you. Let's see what you have learned. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe I'm not as good a shot as I thought I was. I thought I was pretty good. I'm gonna go forward and then shoot. I see your aim still needs improving. So, Gundam Piper, do you think you can hit me from this range? I'm sure you have enough skill to only. I'm actually gonna pull the sword out. your friends on the control bridge. Come on, Gundam Piper. Let's see what you have learned. Fight with impressive ferocity. It must be easier for you. To I'm gonna save real quick. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. I am a little hype that my idea of rushing them with the sword was actually the right one. A fight when you consider me just a heartless monster, a killer who revels in blood and battle. But I fight for a cause, for independence. What does the Federation kill for? They fight only to maintain their choking stranglehold over the colonists. Oh, the sword wasn't right! Or was it? Now lie still so I can finish this. I think I should have used the gun down there. I bet- I bet that's what- how that's supposed to go. I have to listen to him do the whole talk again? You fight with impressive Man. velocity. I know to expect this, but at the same fight, time- You consider me just a heartless monster. A killer who revels in blood and battle. But I fight for a cause. For independence. I like how you can see his eyes. the Federation kill for him? They fight only to it actually ruins the char mask. hold over the colonists. What? Wait. What? Was it because I cycled the weapon after I did the input? I I went to go do sword again. Yeah, no, the eyes really bug me now, and now they can bug you too. You 
fight with impressive ferocity. <laughs> he just, it looks, this it looks so derpy. Fight when you consider me just a heartless monster, a killer who revels in blood and battle. But I fight for a cause, for independence. It's no longer a very What's good the charge. You kill for? They fight only to maintain their choking stranglehold over the colonists. I don't feel bad about trying to kill this guy no more. <laughs> yeah, fo the eyes weren't even focused on anything, huh? They were just kind of like... Blur? Yep, 100%. <laughs> eyes. I think I'm gonna try to shoot him. We get him to the old pew pew pew. Now lie still so I can finish this. Blasted pirate. My axe! How can one pilot escape death so many times? I don't know. Eat shit. Uh-oh. Test of strength then? It shall be fitting that you die by the sword. I'm gonna try a new save here just in case. We'll call it Z14 Die by the Sword. Spelled like that? I think this is the right spelling. What are my options? Move? Forward! I didn't actually push it in time. Um, I didn't get the option to blast with the head. That would have been smart. Test of strength, then. It shall be fitting that you die by the sword. I'm gonna be killed by my sponsor. Forward, not the right direction. Confirmed. I'm gonna step backwards. To strength, then. It shall be fitting that you die by the sword. I can't believe the sponsor's doing me like this. Backwards is also not correct. Test of strength, then. It shall be fitting that you die by the sword. I'm gonna go left. I like the weird pause. It's right. That's the only other direction. I've used every other direction that exists. Test of strength, then. It shall be fitting that you die by the sword. Go right. <laughs> the... Oh shit! I don't know. Head guns? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the punch to the face. He had a sword. Why did he just deck me like that? Why did he do me so dirty? Char. Char. Damn, Char. It's so good, I'm gonna probably see it again. Test of strength, then. It shall be fitting that you die by the sword. I have a second sword. The level of disrespect cannot be discounted. Second sword, go! Real quick. <laughs> I have so many saves. I will not let it end like this. What? You're still going for it? To me, but I will be back to finish this. Gundam pilot, you and your friends will never live to see Chapel. Captain. 
I'm picking up heavy Jean communications. Jean. It sounds like they're sending more Gauss from California base to this location. It doesn't look like Jean is going to give us any chance to catch our breath. We finished repairs on White Base, and since you were able to destroy the Thor cannon, we can get back into the air. Once again, my friend, thank you. White Base crew, your incredible heroism is an inspiration to all of us. Believe me, your courageous efforts have had a tremendous effect on the war for Earth. Unfortunately, I must ask all of you to make more sacrifices. The White Base and Gundam are badly needed in Europe. Europe? Our forces are gathering at Odessa for a mighty counterattack there. We desperately need a victory to turn the tide of war. Join our forces there and help push John out of the European continent. For the sake of our planet, I wish you a good journey and good luck. He died with valor, battling in his last against the tyrannous Federation. His sacrifice will strengthen our resolve. Is this he too early for Char to do a Char and drop a space station? So, my prey, you now move to Odessa. I shall never stop hunting you across your world until you two share the fate of Garma and the entire Zabi clan. When next we meet, Gundam, you shall know why men fear Shar Aznable. Aznable. I look forward to our next encounter. This makes me a little sad that there wasn't a Western release of live action Gundam. <laughs> what is up with games? Why is this like not the first game I've beaten where it just gives you a screen like this? Thank you. I am upset. <laughs> I've beaten, I beat the char. For now. Why would I save here? Should I save? Should I, should I save here? What does this do? What reason would I have? So I can show my friends I beat the game? Hold up, let's see. Hey guys, I'm glad you all came over. I actually beat the Gundam game. Did you know that? I know you all say you can't do it. Did you know that? Okay, first of all, first tip I've got for you. When you get shot at or there's an explosion, run at it. You'll get really far in the game. Trust me. Anyway, let me load the save for you. <laughs> I had to see it again. I saw my chance and I took it. <laughs> the punch is so good. Fuck. <laughs> I I'm going to take footage of that punch. <laughs> It's such a good punch. <sighs> oh, okay. I'll be okay. I short-circuited for a bit there. I just, like, I saw the universe align, and I knew I could see that punch again. <laughs> and I just got so, so happy. Oh. You're, you're not wrong. Like, they made this for the US. From the ground up. Maybe, I don't know if there was actually a... They, maybe they would have been, um... I don't know, I don't think this is like a Super Sentai situation where they made those cutscenes for a different game and then they chopped it to this. I think this is bespoke. I think this game was intended 
for the U.S. It's just so weird. It's such a weird thing to exist. Ah. History. Real quick. Oh my god. So, wait a minute. I'm gonna I have to escape to quit. So, in in the game, I'm hitting play so that I have music. I need a backing track. In the game, there is a point where you get to interact with a database computer, and it has schematics about the different. Gundam, there are the different big mecha, and it's got entirely different, a different set of information than the history screen. But when you go to interact with it to any meaningful extent, you get interrupted by an important communication. And now the thing I am wondering is, is there actually like, if I were to go back to that one save and open up the database again? Is there actually things to learn in there? Like, do they have an extended amount of like, this is a whole tutorial on how to use the database, but you can only use it once. I know because I tried to use it the first time and you know what happened? It immediately went to a cutscene. I didn't get to look at the computer. Second time I got to look at one screen in the computer, kicked me out. Hmm. Really makes me think. Anyway, we made really good time. Because now I get to do... I don't have a normal sponsor segment in this one. Because our sponsor was all over... A, a, a beam saber, by the way. All over that game. But I do have a special presentation. That we're gonna go to. Hopefully this all works. I'm gonna have to stop the music. Welcome to the special introduction. Uh, special bit. Uh, so... Right off the bat, I'm going to say for... Oh, well, I'm kind of out of the way. I didn't want to be on the screen for most of this because I don't want to cover up the important beam saber slash light blade, whatever they want to do. We're going to go on a little trip uh, through some of the history of weaponry depicted in media uh, that has a sword made of light. Just, just just, a brief aside. The first thing we're going to investigate... Yeah, trips are great. The first thing we're going to investigate is this film here. It's called uh, Buddha's Palm. It came out shortly before... What was the Star Wars movie that had the green lightsaber? This came out before that, notably, by a full year. That's going to be important, I feel. So like the 70s? 80s? I don't remember. I just remember that piece of trivia. That's the one that like rump that rattled around in my brain. Because people point at this as the origin for the idea for that kind of sword. They had like the 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 dragon emerald blade or something, I believe it's called. And it's green and it lights up and it's sick as shit. And we're gonna see it in action. Alright, let me get my dumb self out of the way so we can watch this video. Quick click. Go! <laughs> Look at the laser leg! I need to watch this movie, by the way. Beam saber. There it is. Step 
stopped him, the laser foot! Okay. No, wait, wait, no, wait. We need to pause. Check this out. We need to pause before we get to this one. <laughs> Wait, no! That wasn't the button! How do I get back? Bring me back! I want to be back! I'm back. Whew. That was an adventure. So, uh... <laughs> I love that footage so much. With... Can I... Can I go back? Okay. First of all, I want to point out... The laser leg. What a powerful move! The, my boy! My, my man's here just just springs it out like it's a goddamn slinky. And then laser come out the end. Incredible. Incredible. Well, how do they how do the how do our heroes respond? <laughs> my lady here come out and shoot ring out her hand. That's pretty cool. Other lady? I don't know. Let me throw this weird blade circle. That seems pretty good. But no, none of that works. The only thing that's gonna work, in the end, is the only thing that should. A dang beam saber. That's what's gonna work. Keep that in mind as we continue. The next one is just gonna be a, is gonna be a commercial. But I also just thought it was really funny. Just for the cadence of it. Here we, all right, here we go. Hey everybody, check this out. Tradition meets innovation. Lockable in-bed trunk on the ridgeline, built by Honda. <laughs> I need to see him. This guy. <laughs> this guy is so excited. He just, right, just listen to the way my man's here says. Check this out. He this. Hey everybody, check this out. <laughs> you know, if I had one of those, that's how I'd do it, too. I would just, like, I would be sitting, like, everyone's, like, waiting around for Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner. <laughs> Shit-eating grin and all. Everyone's just sitting around, they're like, I don't know, somebody's gonna cut the turkey eventually, right? My, my man's here. Stands up. Hey, everybody, check this out. Whoa, holy shit, he's got a laser knife. God, what a time to be living in. Workable in-bed trunk on the ridgeline, built by Honda. And Honda. All right, so uh, this next one is from the New Adventures of Robin Hood. Uh, Robin Hood has gotten himself a unicorn horn and can use the unicorn horn to form a variety of laser implements. I'm just gonna let this scene play out in its entirety. You'll you'll get to appreciate it. Here we go. I may now kiss the bride. Oh, also there's a wedding. I don't know much about weddings, but isn't there something about speak now and forever hold your peace? That's Robin Hood. I'll teach you to hold your tongue. I think I'm gonna need a little more than this. Laser staff! Unfazed. Reducing people to ash. Is that the best you can do? Sword would be nice right about now. Hell yeah, sword would be. You can play it that game.
Oh no, he got hit by a laser sword. Also, this is Star Wars now. Enough of this. Take my hand. Robin Hood, do something! I need a rope. He turned into laser rope! What? Marion? Marion? Robin? Oh, that's a start. Give me what I need. Robin! Murdered him with a laser lance! That is legitimately how it ends. <laughs> okay. To recap. Yeah, that's what Divine Lance is like. You you ask your unicorn horn to give you what you need, and then you throw it at a dude, and it would kill the evil man. Uh, This is fun. <laughs> Mostly just because uh, the new Adventures of Robin Hood only survived two seasons. It was not a popular show. But also, they thought they would introduce Star Wars in the middle of it, and that was fun. That's how the Grimple got done. Oh, God. Season 2, Episode 4. For the record, uh, the devil's something or another. If you want to watch this show, it's all on YouTube. That's why I felt okay about showing this. As we continue our journey through notable laser swords that won't get me in trouble for showing them on stream. This one's going to be challenging because this is technically a Toei thing. But it was in the 70s. This, this space cowboy existed before Star Wars. My boy here, my boy here has laser sword. It's not as good as a lightsaber. Well, it's better than the lightsaber that's in the first movie. But, you know, check this shit out is what I'm gonna say. Just three minutes of just pure laser sword action. Oh, imagine. Laser blade! Take a second here. I cannot emphasize enough. My boy here's a space cowboy. All right, we'll continue. Sorry, sorry for the aside. Wait, 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 wait. No, go back. Wait, 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 wait,
Wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait. I didn't notice this. <laughs> the mask has a mustache on it. Oh. Imagine. Imagine the power you would have if you had a mask with a mustache on it. It's quite good. Anyway. We're going on a history lesson about Laser Sword. Besides, sorry, I paused again. I, I can't help myself. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're hit with the laser sword or if you're hit with a regular sword, you're gonna shoot sparks. Oh, I agree. They should. I've only learned about this today and I'm very excited. Oh, also for the record, this is not the first laser sword, but this might be actually the first laser sword depicted in media. If that makes if that makes you feel any better. Oh my god, it does everything a lightsaber should. Alright, this one doesn't have a fun mustache, but I do like this boy quite a bit. This is the third and last of our Space Cowboy Boys who are going to murder somebody with a laser sword. <laughs> oh. Okay, real quick, I want to drop the trivia. Uh-oh. All right, well, the light situation in this room has changed, and now there's a shadow. Uh, one last fact that I want to say. The first author, as far as anyone knows, wrote about having a sword made of laser actually ends up being... Our, our three rules of robotics person, uh, Isaac Asimov, uh, who wrote about laser swords, but when he wrote about them, they were invisible. Could you imagine if people took that part about the writing and the sword was cool, it cut through shit, but it was invisible? That sounds terrifying. This is much more, this seems much more logical. I can see the sword. It, you know, it goes through you, it makes you explode, but, like, I respect it and understand it, you know what I mean? Anyway. It is like the way lasers in Westworld. Look at this laser sword! Cyber Blast? I think this I think this might be our last uh quick journey. Oh, 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 there we are. I think this might be our last quick journey. Uh, in the realm of laser swords, I, I might be wrong, uh, but I believe this is our final one. This... Ah, uh, Shider Blue Blood Flash, of course. This lamentable uh, stop in our uh, laser blade journey uh, is from Bible Man. 
Okay, so Bible Man was uh, a superhero for people who like Christianity a lot. And Bible Man, at one point, I, I'm i struggling to remember this guy's name. They are the Joker, but they're not called the Joker, right? They're like the Fibber or the Liar or something. Uh, no. You'll find out. You'll see. You'll see what episode this is. Anyway, Bible Man's gonna fight the Joker with a fucking lightsaber, alright? That's what that's what this is all leading to. <laughs> is this the Joker? <laughs> I mean, they are. That's kind of like the stakes here. <laughs> they are pretty much just the Joker. Alright, let's get into the Bibble. That's what you think, my little liar. But I'll teach you soon enough. You'll do nothing of the sort, Fibbler. Fibbler! The only thing more foul than you and your lies is the one who sent you. Bible Man. You didn't think I really meant that, did you? I was just joking. Proverbs 13.5 says that a good man hates deceit. And right now, I feel very good. The Fibbler! I bet you do. But not for long! <laughs> oh shit, he has a lightsaber! I believe it's time for a memory verse. I'm more than willing to fight you and your scripture, Bible creep! Willingness and stupidity don't go well together. Proverbs 19, two. Not the memory verse I had in mind, though. Uh, shut up and fight me yourself! Saying foolish things is like setting a trap to destroy yourself. Proverbs 18, 7. Great verse. Still, not the one I had in mind. You're cheating. You're nothing without the Bible. Well, that's the first nice thing you've said to me all evening. Oh, yes. I remember. Proverbs 19, 5. What? Here's Proverbs 19, 5! Proverbs 19, 5. Dishonest witnesses and liars will not escape punishment. He himself in the leg. Oh, right. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Gotta work on those memory verses more often. So, <laughs> the way you kill the fibbler is you make the fibbler hit themselves in the leg with a lightsaber, right? And when you hit yourself in the leg with a lightsaber, hold up, your eyes, your eyes start out like, hold up, this, right? They're like that when they start out. The sparks coming out of yours. But but then they go like that. <laughs> this is what happens to you. It's fucked up. Nobody survives being hit with one of these. Is the short of it. Everyone who gets hit one of these is either obliterated, like completely turned into just nothingness, or they're cut in half. There's no in between. And that's where the Star Wars games fucks up. By the way, is just like people get hit by a lightsaber and they go, oh, I lost twenty percent of my health bar. It's fucked up. They, they, they should turn into nothingness. You know, they did that right in the first Star Wars movie. You know that. In the first Star Wars movie, somebody get hit with a lightsaber, and now what happened to them? Right there. They just go... Pfft, although their clothes are left behind. Well, I mean, that's just how... It, that's how, uh, you know, a beam, a beam do. Let me double check. I don't remember if this is actually the last one or not. That is, in fact, the last of my, uh, my very good videos. Oh, what an adventure we've had together out in, out in the world of sabers. Let's get some music in to really commemorate. Now, as, as this thing next to the right of me may suggest, we will be going next into the world of Forbes Corporate Warrior. However, I need to take a short break so that I can use the restroom, uh, get some more 
diet diet soda on account of I'm trying to trim up again so I can play a game better. Uh, so, in order to achieve this, we're going to take a short break. And then I have to also fix my... You know what? I'm going to do that right now. We're going to do this live. But why don't I see that shadow in this shot? Oh, it's because it's in the other shot, but not this one. It's right there. I need to uh, fix my lighting. Because it's gotten quite dark. And I would like to... I would like to improve it. And it seems like the, the part that needs the extra light is off on... Nope, that's the wrong light. Off on that side. Quick check. Let's go, let's go to the other screen so that I can fulfill my... my paranoia. If I raise my hand like this, no shadow. No, no green... What, what caused that? Did you... Wait. <laughs> the ghost did this? I don't know why... Stream Elements is letting me down. I see you say the ghosts. And now I see it there. Many seconds later. So many seconds. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a, a bold strategy. I'm gonna just refresh the page. I'm gonna close it and reopen it. Maybe it'll work a little better after that. Bugs me. Bugs the shit out of me when I'm running stream, and text box doesn't show up when I respond to it. This is music is going places. I'm not sure if I'm following it, but it's going places. All right, so I'm gonna go take a short break. Um, y'all will learn something from the break video, I'm sure. It's very educational. I actually don't remember what I put in the education hopper. What's going on in the background of Lilcam? Let me show you. Let me get, let me let me tear away. All of the other elements here that are blocking you from being able to see, I believe that and that. Just fun, just fun little vibes. I got this in a bundle at one point, so I actually am allowed to just use this animation as I please. It's kind of lava lampy. And I also, I, uh, flipped it because the color, like the light color behind me contrasted too much. But this is the screen you would see if for whatever reason the stream dropped out. And so I feel like it's important to have that kind of background. While we listen to some like weird avant-garde jazzy MIDI music called Emmanuel. What do I know? All right, I'm gonna go use the restroom and get a drink. While I do so, hold up. I don't actually remember what you're learning. I'm gonna click the button and watch it for a second. Hey, let's take our oh, road sports show. bloopers. Now beach now. Uh, wait. Uh, mm -mm. Mm. Sports bloopers. Sploopers, as we call you. Mm. Sure seems like uh, we're having a splooper of our own. Hey, let's take our blooper road show out to the beach now. Call in the action. Another broadcaster ESPN is thinking of hiring uh, any Anyway, day. we'll be right back. Yo, dudes. Sandy Beach here, man. Like, there's a lot of bizarre occurrences happening in the water, if you know what I mean, dudes. Oh, what a spill, man. This is like what happens when a total wave shark lives upstream, you know? No water, dude, but lots of action, man. Yo. Okay, we're back home now. Home, home on the phone. <laughs> oh, this is a clam slammer. Like, look at this dude. Awesome 360, dude. Hey, yo, dudettes. Can you dig these motorheads, man? My mom wanted me to be a brain surgeon. But like I said, like, okay, I'm like a hydrologist, mom. <laughs> My girlfriend, Rainbow, loves me just the way I am. 
Bronze blonde and totally 100% righteous, okay? Hey, Mountain Man, stay on course, all right, man? Excellent, dude. <laughs> Hang ten, rubber man. <laughs> I just love watching these hombres ride the wild sea pony, okay? Hey, dig it. This is Sandy Beach saying, <laughs> life's a beach, dude. So hang ten, you big kahunas. <laughs> All right, let's continue horsing around. Hello, Ruff and Glystone here, reporting on the steeplechase. A wondrous test of equine athleticism. This guy's a beaut. <laughs> Like this event, Ruffin? And this event has always intrigued me personally. It's so demanding and yet so graceful. A double jump coming up. No! She met that totally wrong. Here's the biggest challenge of the day. The pressure clearly on. Can he do it? ESPN broadcaster Chris Fowler showing us that broadcasting can be an unpredictable profession. A lot more still to come on ESPN Scholastic Sports America. Right after this break, we'll meet a student who escaped from the problems in his home. <laughs> I hear this guy snorting. Speaking of strange sounds, uh, just kidding, guys. What about Team Blazers? Chris, of course, has been around the network for a long time, one of the fine announcers in the business, and I know this for a fact because he told me, Roy, I'm one of the fine announcers in this business. Only kidding, Chris. Uh, one thing we do know about Chris, though, is that he can handle himself in any situation. Sometimes it's a pressure cooker out there, but Chris Berman has seen it all. Any situation? The song goes, everything's up to date in Kansas City. But that's an old tune. This is a new team. The Kansas City... <laughs> What are you doing, Sometimes my dude? Friends get a bit rowdy. You know, it's not always easy doing these reports, as uh, Chris would be the first to admit. That's great. And then there are the times when you have to compose yourself, even though mayhem is breaking out all around you. Celtics and Sixers, but it's on now to the finals, a sight the Boston Celtics have known before, and for Philadelphia again, Celtic fans, why are they yelling? Come on, where have you been? The Celts are going to the finals. Philadelphia has been beaten 91 to 90, and so it's a Boston Houston final. Philadelphia has got to take a summer off and wonder what could have been. For this week in the NBA, I'm Chris Berman in a raucous Boston Garden. Now that's a real Boston hasn't changed. Not a little, not even a remote amount. It's just always been that way, apparently. I didn't know that. Look at all the things we've learned today already run towards the danger that's a fact beam saber destroy destroys everything it's an extremely effective weapon i don't know why y'all don't use them uh and boston has always been like boston ever since the beginning of time amazing okay we're gonna go boldly into our next endeavor. I'm a little afraid of it. If if all thing if everything falls apart after this point, we have alternative entertainment available. But do you did you see do you see this cover art? 
Holy shit, I need to play this game. I don't even know if it's going to be good. I don't know if there's actually a start or an end, actually. Because when I was reading through the manual, it, it just said, like, there's ten levels. So it sounds a lot like there's just... You play the game... And learn something about economics? Habeas Corpos. Yeah, that's the one. Alright, so... Forbes Corporate Warrior. For comparison's sake. The, uh, the Westworld game takes up about 300 megabytes. That's not, this is a pretty sizable game. There's a lot of FMV in there. Uh, Forbes Corporate Warrior is on a two, a 22 megabyte disc. Very small game. Not much happening here. So I'm a little afraid of it, is what I'm saying. I'm saying that out loud, so that you know that's how I feel. Uh, I'm going to pause the music as we get ready to listen to the, the sweet, dulcet towns. Towns? Sounds. Oh, also, the, the Forbes Corporate Warrior also has a hint to me, just like Westworld did. I believe this is the first Cruelty Squad game, yes. <clears throat> Sorry, they do give you this so that you know what you're doing before you start the game. We, I, I should read this in the most professional voice I can for Dr. Carolyn Hart. Uh, let me just go find, uh, where's the professional setting on this? Is this... Oh, that's too strong. That was... That was... Th that, that was too strong. This is pretty strong, too. How's this? Ooh. Ooh. Alright, I think we're getting somewhere. A little bit, a little bit less reverb, a, little, a tiny bit more echo. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. <clears throat> this happened in. Um... I'm replacing this camera. Hold up. Let me make that more dramatic. I am replacing this camera. Because it does. Keep freaking out. Next thing I buy is not going to be a Logitech. I guarantee you it's not going to be a Logitech. Logitech has jerked me around for years. And I, every time, every time there's a Windows update, I'm playing, it's like I'm playing roulette. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't like it. Anyway, this is dated September 24th, 2006. Logitech is my bane. They, they make the worst and best of it webcams. It's really frustrating. This is re in regards to the DSMI helmet and your mission, by the way. Hey, pay attention. I have sp Nope, no, that was too much. That was too hard. Let's try this again. I have spent a decade of my life developing the DSMI helmet, a device which permits its wearer to battle competing companies and capture market share in a graphically displayed real-time environment reminiscent of 20th century video games. The helmet empowers the wearer to instantaneously execute manufacturing, distribution, marketing, sales, and investment decisions. Forces beyond my control have made it imperative that I disappear. Semicolon. And I have chosen you to inherit my invention. I have arranged for you to be given a small amount of digital cash in the reins of a startup company. The helmet will give you the opportunity to grow this company, its earnings, and its stock price at an astonishing speed to help you track your progress. Profits and growth statistics are posted periodically on the Helmet's Vital Statistics Center. Once you put on the DSMI helmet, you will become... Real quick, voice change. Very important. You will... What if, what if I went the wrong way? You will become... A corporate warrior! In this... In this world, cash is ammunition. And the amount of cash is your health. Good luck.
You remember you remember when people were going crazy about what that game where your ammunition was your money? Your your ammo is your health? Holy shit, video games. Holy shit. Also behold the menu. This is good. Multiplayer? M multiplayer? Too bad I don't have a modem installed. Like, <laughs> like I can't. I would have to if I wanted to play this game online. I'd have to go and actually install a modem because the only way this game is going to communicate out to the internet is through phone line. Good times. Good good games. Uh, let me click help real quick. Okay, we're learning here. Press Z and A to adjust the type of products you make. Thrifty versus luxury. That's the the white line. This white thing here. In this example, weapons that promote quality, ad blaster or the marketing missile, are the most effective. The competitor is producing economical goods. What does customers want more upscale goods? Okay, so I think the white is what the market wants. And the red is what the person I'm looking at, what they're providing. In this example, price weapons, such as the price slicer or the price pounder, are the most effective because the competitor is produ producing luxury goods, but his customers want more economical goods. In this example, <laughs> it's hard to steal away the competitor's customers because he is making exactly what the customers want. I thought this was... Oh, is white me and the red? Okay, wait a minute. Supply on the top, demand on the bottom. Supplying luxury goods, the demand is thrifty goods. I see what the problem is now. This is a perfect alignment. And what the white is is what I'm making. It's not what the competitor and its customers want. Okay. But I'm allowed to hit Z and A to shift my bars. Why do these two bars shift independently? Why do my customers want a different thing than what I am providing? Because in this one, in this example, they say is bad. Oh, my customers want this. Their customers want that. I see. I see. Okay, okay, okay. I figured this game out. Oh, shit. Some, can somebody else memorize this? <laughs> Go there real quick. <laughs> Good. Can somebody else memorize what is happening? Yeah, I got to steal customers. That's just the economics of the situation. <laughs> Run over bonus markets and weapons. They're just out there. Okay, wait. We need to memorize the weapons real quick. We get the marketing missile. Quick tag yourself, by the way. The Alliance Harpoon. The distri <laughs> Distribution Disruptor. The Ad Blaster. The Price Bomb. <laughs> Legal Lasers. The Headhunter. Also, I'm going to read Headhunter real quick. because I have Headhunter, also known as the Equalizer. It hires away the competitor's top talent. Ooh. Price Slicer. Your Price Bomb, good to know. I still have ghosts in my webcam. Every time, once in a while, it decides to freak out. Your illegal laser, the, very important, good to know. I'm learning a lot about you right now. I like Major more than D-Pro right now. Just sorry. Sorry. I re I respect the price bomb. Legal lasers? This is this is like a... You know, it's like I'm a, I'm a Virgo and you're a Scorpio. Like, there's going to be tension. You know, there's no way around it. Alliance Harpoons? Like an Alliance Harpoon. An Alliance Harpoon? Great defensive device. It's a great defensive device. Holy shit, continued! I forgot about the takeover torpedo and the pack shield! Damn. Oh, also, here's where the, uh, the buttons are. Let's dwell on the screen for a moment. Because I'll definitely remember. Okay. Most of these keys are the same as Westworld because it's the same game engine. That helps me. 
<laughs> I do like the pack shield's description. Because, like, if everything else fails, you just go and get those lobbyists. This game is supposed to teach you about economics. It is teaching you about dystopia. <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> Forbes put their name on it? Forbes actually paid for this game to be made. It does read like satire. The problem is, I think in 96, it wasn't. I think in 96, people actually were like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> you should do these market practices. All right, oh, hold up. I need to remember that A and Z increases my luxury orientation. That's going to be important. A makes me more luxurious. And Z makes me less luxurious. Page up and page down increases my depth. Why would I want... Real quick, why would I want more or less debt on a whim? I would always want to go lower, right? Issue stock with end. Home, buy back, stop, naturally. Escape goes to main menu. See, scan competitors or markets. Answer video phone on spacebar. Shield is S. R is radar. This is fucked. I'm... I'll, I'll remember this part because this is all Westworld control. This is all new. This is bad. I think I clicked help, though. New game. Let's find out what this game is about. Last time I booted this game, it had music. Hmm. I'm going to start with Duck Wall. All right. Stock price is 22 cents. The PE ratio, outstanding shares. Uh, okay. There is supposed to be music right now. I'm a little concerned. I'm tempted to bounce back to Windows. Uh, next song, please. Why does Winamp not give me any music? Oh, thank God. Hey, hey! This is the music I listen to when I'm doing corporate shenanigans. So this is the headset. My office looks like shit. Wait, what happens if I keep cancel here? Same thing. Why don't I pay attention to my phone? It's because I'm streaming, I told my wife. Yeah, this is Corpo music. All right, put on the headset. I've got the price slicer equipped. Do I have all the weapons? No. All right, my supply and demand are kind of aligned. Video phone. I got hit by an ad blaster. The video phone is calling me, but I'm trying to answer it. And it's not letting me. I have destroyed the ad blaster. Yeah, I'm, I'm mashing spacebar when I see it turn green. Oh, the enemy is to my rear. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh-oh. The, uh, hint me, by the way, I looked at it, does tell you to do the strat that I did in Westworld that seemed like an unintended glitch. Where you just hold, you hold the shoot button down, it just shoots as fast as possible. Uh, 
Uh oh, I need to increase my supply. There we go. Somebody's trying to call me on the video phone. I'm simply not picking it up. My stocks? Look at my stocks down there. They're doing great. Oop. All right, quick. Lower the demand. Match. I'm doing... I, I think my stocks are doing great. So I don't know about earnings debt here. Do you think... Are there any... Is there anyone else here? Hey, hey. Oh, I've gotten the... I've obtained a new weapon. The Ad Blaster. I feel pretty good about the Price Slicer, though. Like, that seems to do me pretty good. Oh, run into those. My market size is increasing every time I run into one of those. Ooh. Oh god. Dun, 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 dun. Um Did I do good? <laughs> You, of course you're a rear in the radar. Of course you are. Uh, I have a lot of outstanding shares. Should I sell some of those? Ooh, the room is different now. Is this room gonna get cooler the more I play? There we go. I'm matching, I'm matching the customer demand. Dixie Cups are not corpo music, good to know. Alright, whatever those thing, these things are, that's a price slicer. You just boom them up with that thing. This guy... Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna give him the Ad Blaster. That seemed to work pretty well. The video phone is still blinking at me. I don't know what it's supposed to do. There are no video files on the disc. So I don't know what's supposed to play in the video phone. Is either of those good? <laughs> da -da -da -da. All right, I beat them. I just had to use the price slicer on them. My supply is not meeting the demand. Ooh, that was close. I did name myself Joy by Limited when I uh, installed the game. It asked me for my name and my business. And it has used those things I put in as a joke, as the actual names. What gun am I using right now? Ad Blaster Price Laser. Price Bomb! I'm gonna stick with the Price Blaster. Uh, price Blaster seems to do me pretty well. Most things don't seem to stand up against it. Which is strange, because it is the first weapon I've ever gotten. Uh, let's try selling some stock. I'm losing equity. I'm gaining cash. Is that- is this how stocks work, by the way? Oh, I've turned scanning on. Is this good? This doesn't seem to tell me anything about anything. Give him some of the, the Ad Blaster. Give him a little bit of this. I don't know what their deal is, but I don't think I can just beat them by shooting them. They don't have enough supply to keep up with demand, though, so... I think I'm fine. 
All right, we're wandering around until I see something in the radar in the bottom left. Oh, I see some stuff. Is that capital I see? Is this market share? No, mind me. I'm just gonna take your markets. Pardon me. I'm I'm in your area stealing your shit. This music in combination with this game is messing me up. This game is the reason. This is why they like that. Ooh, what's this weapon? It appears to just be the price slicer again. My stocks are doing great! I swear. I love running around my, this, this like cyberpunk hellscape trying to find more, more customers. Can I steal them from this thing? Got him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What? I'm looking at the thing at the top to see if what I'm doing is effective. Because you can see the slide, the curves of supply and demand. Oh, there's somebody behind me. Like, Prey Slicer right now is not doing anything to them. But if I give them the whole Ad Blaster, it is lowering their demand? It appears the price bomb is what kids takes care of those ones. I don't know what the logic here is. It just seems like you're supposed to mix it, like, match the type of enemy with the type of weapon. I'm not really learning anything about economics. Oh, I got a video call? Let me answer that real quick. It makes the light turn off, so that's cool. I'm mashing the video phone button right now. Got him. I'm just rolling around. Yeah, stocks are doing great. I'm rolling around just destroying other businesses in like a Windows 95 screensaver. My stock is leveling off though. I need to find more people to steal their business. There we go, I've destroyed their business. That'll surely do numbers. From the instructions, it made it sound like your only real goal. Whoa. Whoa, that view. Your only real goal is to, uh... Make sure that your stock is the highest out of every other enemy in the thing by the end of the stock. So I have four quarters. I'm at the end of the first quarter right now. Ooh. What's this? Another gun I already have. That's cool. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a sprint button. I'm going to move a little bit more like this so that I can see further. Uh-oh. My company always needs to sprint. Oh, shooting does make my, might make my cash go down. I guess when things are really bad, you sell stock to try to recover cash. Okay, 
Okay, I've got one point. Oh my god, my money is dropping so hard. Oh, my supply is not matching my demand. I don't know what's going on with that guy, but what I'm doing is not working. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them alone. My stock is doing great, though. Now this is going on from the overhead view. This this jerk is still harassing me. Oh, apparently I just had to shoot him a couple more times. Are you learning anything about stocks? Q2 is doing great. We're doing numbers out here. So I don't know what the Ad Blaster does narratively. I assume it tries to increase demand where they can't uh, handle it anymore. Uh oh, but do you see that what my stock is doing? That little dip? I don't like that dip. That dip is bad. That's a bad dip. We're back over where we should be, but I don't like what happened there for a bit. I think we finished the first day. We've reached the top of the stocks. Second day, I guess. We are now in level three. Our net margin is looking pretty good at 18% or 0.18%. Oh, right. I forgot I bought Twitter in the middle of that. You know, it's hard to tell what you're doing when you're in cyberspace with, you know, your ad blasters and your price slicers and what have you. Um, real unfortunate. I have so many outstanding shares. But I've only got 65% equity in my own company. I should not allow that to dip. That seems like it would be quite bad. But I don't have any debt. Oh, is debt how I manage my health if I drive, drop too low? I take on debt to have more money so that I can continue. Is that why there's a button to increase and decrease your debt? Look, my room is looking pretty good though. I got a lot of pizza boxes. I don't know what's going on with this. This TV or something? But yeah, this office is looking better. Ooh, look at this. Oh. We've made it. We're we're in cyber world now. This is look at these colors. Oh, there's an invisible wall there. Look, we're going to need you to stay in a little bit late. Um, things are looking rough. I'm out here shooting the price bomb at a, a cockroach. I'm in a cash crunch right now. Uh, so I'm just going to need you to stay late is all I'm really saying. The video phone still appears to do nothing. Oop, something on the left hand side. I'm hitting him with a price slicer. Will that help their supply? Is that going to make their supply go up? Am I hitting him with the wrong weapon? I can't shoot my weapon anymore. I appear to have run out of money. I wasn't paying attention. Uh-oh. <laughs> bad, bad news, everyone. We've been, we've been liquidated. I can't tell if this is still the upgraded apartment. <laughs> okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. Money is still looking okay. 
I was worried for a little bit. I was lost and then I was found. I still don't know how to read the chart at the top or why sometimes what I happen to do like destroys a company sometimes. Increase supply, meet demand. Ooh, I see a dot on the radar. What's that? Is that a new weapon? I've got the marketing missile! I don't know this mouse. Sorry, I only just noticed the Illuminati, the, the, like the dollar bill pyramid eye in the background. Give him the old marketing missile. Slice their prices. Their stock is improving. This makes it go. No, nope. what? That's this is this is what does it. I gotta watch that upper right when I'm shooting things. What? What is? Is stock even anything? What is happening? I've been liquidated. I was so busy looking at their stock to try to figure out what was going on. There's like a, a screen that lets you like print a certificate or something that I, I have not yet gotten to read. spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried all the rain it's a it's a spider and down the spout again there's market their stuff is like they have like no stock left We're doing some jazzy spiders. I'm dead again. I don't think I can t take out those fortresses. Those are like some blue chalk, uh, blue blue stock, <laughs> blue chip stock is what I was trying to say. Nonsense. Like you, you can't just. Holy shit! I got to see it. There's a competition from Forbes.com. You, you wanted proof that this dang game was official? It can't get more official than this. That, that solo went ham! I will try this one more time. If I am- if I am just sent back into destitution again, though... Give me the old price slicer! Got him. So, like, when they hit me, it makes their value go up. And if I hit them, it makes their value go down. So, it seems like it's a real, like, you gotta dodge and weave and duck and dive situation. Holy shit, there's been an engine improvement since Westworld. You can actually strafe in this game. And move diagonally. Probably helps that there isn't an um, environment to look at. It doesn't seem like they're hitting me. No, I'm not going to fight them anymore. Fuck that. 
I'm hemorrhaging money. Look at my stock. It's doing real bad. What are you? Can I can I make you destitute? To save myself? This level is tough because it doesn't give you uh, the little pickups that give you more market share. If this game had a real competition oh shit, going on, I wonder if this game is deliberately balanced against the player so that people don't win the competition. I got liquidated. Again. Alright, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go in on an experimental journey real quick. Save my game real quick. Oh, okay, now I did something. Let's overwrite empty. It's a quality game. I'm in level three debt. What would you do in multiplayer in this game? What would you do in multiplayer in this game? Let's leave to hint me real quick. Just, just out of curiosity. Hints and tips that may help your enjoyment of the game. Thanks, Forbes. Some competitors are best left alone. Yeah. Careful when you sell your stock. Chances are you won't be able to afford to buy it all back. The BAC shield can kill you if you leave it on too long. Sometimes the only way to face an enemy is from behind a shield. Remember to meet your customer's demand. This will make them happy and help your stock price at the same time. You have four until the fourth quarter. That's your time limit. Pay attention to your news ticker. Events can cause changes in your stock price and your customer's demand. Don't forget, competitors respond to weapons differently. A penny saved is a penny earned. It wouldn't kill you to answer the video phone once in a while. I've tried. So many times. If you're short of cash, try selling stock or raising debt. I never raised debt. I forgot the button for it. That was probably my bad. You don't always have to kill your competitors to win. Pay attention to your competitor's market share. Scan before you shoot. There are some markets you may not want. Yeah, this fact does not help. The legal laser is a good way to give yourself some breathing time. Use the big radar to get the big picture. Click on the PDA laying on the desk to view a snapshot your financial profile. Ooh, why is this in the I playlist? This is some Final Fantasy VII. Buying and selling your stock is okay. Inside trading is not. This is not even advice for the game. Page up and page down is your uh, debt. Okay, scan competitor with C, not S. I tried answering the video phone. That's just it. That's the entire fact. You know how I know there's not video on this stupid game? We got sounds. Ooh! We've got textures. Ooh! We got scripts. Ooh! And Root just has this. Wait a minute. This is what it normally come.
Hold up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where is where's this game saved? Probably this. Man, why does Corporate Warrior have so many more of these? Player stat, prefix, Mars spot, manual, hint me, connect. Is it this one? Here, here we go. Have you ever gone into the system settings and changed your orientation? Seems like it should be illegal. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Market lost pounder? Okay, wait. Wait. Then I think maybe that's what you do to enemies. Check some one quarter. All right, this is just all the settings for difficulty level one. Moving cost. Okay, I guess moving around on the map costs money. Interest rate. Default weapons range. Is it for me or is it for the enemies? I wish I knew what these numbers meant. Alright. Save. Let me see if I run the game again if I just have infinite money. Which one of these is the... Let's just do it the right way. We only did it in that difficulty one. It does not seem that I have billions of money. Well, my cash isn't really going down when I shoot this gun, though. But it also might be because it's the first level. Oh no, my stocks! Oh, I'm really messing up my... My money. Sorry, I'm being shot. Oop. Get out of here, you. You arrow blast. So... Fair increase supply to meet demand. I wonder if the video phone is supposed to do something. Because, like, I answer it, it makes the light turn off. But I don't get any messages on the screen anywhere I can see. Oh. You want, you want to start some shit? I don't know if I'm going to enjoy being a Cor Forbes corporate warrior much longer, but thank you for hanging out. I am, uh... You know, the highs of seeing live-action char do not expend, do not extend to Forbes, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm learning stuff about the market, you know? Like, how if I change the any file, it doesn't seem to actually care. I'm done. Why would you subject somebody to that? Why would you be playing multiplayer with somebody in this game? 
That's my question. Now I'm curious. There was a competition, right? I'm googling a thing real quick. What? What? Hold up. Let's go, let's go to... I gotta... I do a thing real quick to make it so you can see what I'm wetting about. Stop that. Stop that background. PC Gamer wrote an article about this game in October 2nd, 2021. Yeah, it's messed up. I'm, uh... I'm just kind of scrolling it real fast to see if there's anything that speaks to me. I do... I do like the Alliance Harpoon a lot. It's a good name. They apparently said nothing else. I wanted to see if somebody had managed to actually win that competition. The last bit of the video is wild. Is it stream safe? Let's find out. Fuck it. Uh, I need to make that music stop if I'm gonna enjoy this YouTube video. Right, let's get up here. All right. Let us go back to this screen. Oh, you can see behind. You can see behind the stuff. Uh oh. I'm gonna make myself tiny. Let's try to just stay out of the way. Maybe I'll be over here. I'm pretty out of the way over here, I bet. Let me rotate so that uh, the, the video person in me is satisfied. All right. <laughs> this is a different game by that same company? No, it's just the same publisher, different company. Somewhere in the galaxy, a zillion miles away, a catalog full of underwear and chick showed up one day. Three aliens built the catalog through abnormal wear and tear. And it didn't take long till they needed more shots of girls in underwear. Hey man, this magazine's getting kind of old. Yeah man, and those pages are all sticky. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Raw dream! I'll get the prom! They flew through one of those time old things and they only had a while to abduct our hero Nelson and to go to Model I. You've got to take some pictures, but they got to be in underwear. And here's some stuff that you'll be using to get those model babies back. You've got a camera. You've got x-ray goggles. And you've also got goop, which is an amazing substance that just eats clothes. So throw goop for all your worth, or we'll destroy the planet Earth. And hey, man, don't forget about the probe. So, let me get this straight. Wow, I already know- Oh, skinny earthlings in underpants! Okay, so, my understanding of what just occurred here. These aliens be horny. The aliens have abducted a man to go out with a camera, x-ray goggles, and goop that dissolves clothes. And we're literally, I'm not, we are literally, not figuratively, we are literally putting women on a pedestal. Is this, am I understanding what's happening here correctly? Am I confused in any way? If, uh, I don't know if I could in good conscience play this game. Well, could I though? Mm. 
This seems like something that would involve some investigation. Hit, hit that play button. Camera's haunted. It's also fat phobic. Maybe not then. I'm still, I still like Westworld though. I don't know why I like that game. It's probably because I have a sickness of some kind. Probably. Do I have anything I can boot up just as a, a last novelty? We've already gone off the end of the planned content. What it turns out, Forbes Corporate Warrior, conceptually very funny. Just like, in uh, in idea, this is a brilliant game. In execution, terrible. Not good. Zero. Duty. Duty bad. Uh, looking through my folders of stuff. It would be really funny if Cruelty Squad got the Forbes engine. All right, yeah. You know what, though? I gotta. Di I have to refund Major's suggestion of Logitech as a sponsor because that's a real company. I only just realized that they had done that. I'm gonna refund the points. I can't take Logitech as a sponsor. We can't be doing real companies as sponsors. That's, that will probably get me into actual trouble. Uh, I do have one idea for uh, some entertainment real quick, uh, provided that everything is still here. Just checking. All right, let's, um... Wow, I have so much garbage on my desktop. Let me uh, clean some stuff up before I bring you over here. So, I want to mess around with... Oh, God, I can't grab anything. I can never manage to grab myself. There we go. Um, there's a Mario 1 randomizer tool called Level Headed. And, uh... You can set a lot of variables about the game. Uh, oh, me, mine, midi is gone? Was that the previous song? I don't know. Anyway. Here's what I can do. Oh, I can't get past... I can't, but do. I guess it's gonna be joyable. Ah. Uh. So you can see some of the settings on here. We have a. Uh, we can set the graphics of the game. I am gonna just kind of look until I see something that speaks to me. Mm, Super Bubba Bros talks to me. Palette. What if I do extreme palette? What does that do? We'll find out. Mario Sprite, we can change. We have such options as random only Mario or random only Mario Bar 1 or we can put Super Mario World sprite in there we can have Link, Luigi, Peach, Sonic, Toad, Wario, or Yoshi I'm gonna do Sonic I think just as the goof and then you can set the palette for your Mario sprite if I assume if you set sprite default it's gonna stick with whatever your change sprite would be so I'm just gonna go ahead and default it Music. I learned that Snoop Dogg on this setting makes it play meme songs constantly. Not not Snoop Dogg specific in particular, just meme songs. 
when I was doing this project for somebody else. Uh, Techno Mario Brothers is right there. Mm. Oh, so many choices here. Very challenging. Super Bobble Bros, I assume, does... I don't know how much I want that. I'm going to go for... I'm a sucker. I'm going to do a bad apple. Just for now. We get random sounds, random text, randomized animations, tone. Let's keep this one original. No, you know what? Random. Difficulty is uh, hard. I'm going to set the power up because the power up can be different things. Because, like, you know, Fire Flowers, because in Mario 1, you only have the one power up, right? You got Mushroom and then you go to Fire Flower. And you can change it to be other things. Like Hammer Suit. Or a Double Jump Star. Or a Coin Flinger. I'll leave that random. I'm going to keep it hard. I don't know if I'm going to mess with the level generator. It mostly just determines what kind of levels are there. I think I'll keep it mostly the same. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It lost the ROM. Oh, I know why I did. It's because I, uh... We have to go to the other screen real quick. <laughs> I, uh... When I finished making my goof, I, uh... Moved my ROM. That I have legally procured. Trust me. Oh, I have to go and unpack a different one. Hold up. Give me a second. Ripped it myself? N nobody can convince me otherwise. Super Mario Brothers. I assume this ROM will be fine. Let's see if it'll take it. You, you don't, you can't see. I'm gonna see if it can do it. Oh, I've clicked the wrong button. Sorry. Hold up. I'm ruining everything right now with my shenanigans. Because you have, you're just watching me look at a screen you can't see. <sighs> One second. I have to go and get a different ROM. Don't don't look at me. Don't don't look at me. Don't observe. Camera. I, I am going to destroy this camera. It's the only way. Because it keeps misbehaving. saying it doesn't have the read-write permissions to this folder, and I know that's not true. So now I'm confused. I got very excited about playing this. Oh, I see what's happened here. I know what's happened here. I hate I hate what's occurred here. I'm trying to think of a way to get around it. Okay. I know how to do it. 
I have to run the, the application as administrator. Which is what I was getting mad about, by the way. There we go. Now I can now I can do the thing I was gonna do. Still mad at me. And it's, it's because it's trying to create a folder that doesn't exist. We're making it happen. It's gonna happen. We've done it. We have successfully generated a weird Mario. Dang, that took so much more effort than it should have. Now we're gonna go and do a weird thing real quick. Let me uh, go back to tiny mode. We need to grab this. And we're gonna go grab this specific window and what we're gonna grab is this one. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop a Mario into here. Where's my controller? You know, when the mood strikes, when the mood strikes, it's a whole thing. It really just sat there and showed the lyrics the whole time, huh? Dang. Really, really makes you think. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to my uh, very legitimate ROM. And uh, see if it grabs it. It's got the wrong settings. Still, it still says a tool game. Hmm, doesn't like it. What if I make it a uh, window capture instead? Sorry, we're doing this live, so it gets a bit weird. This was never a, never the plan. Come on, just stretch it a little bit. There you go. You're happy about that. Can I just change the size of this? Uh-oh. I just wanted... I I just wanted a slightly bigger window for myself game. I, I just really wanted a slightly bigger one window for myself. Yeah, I set this up originally to do a video game challenge for somebody else. Uh, spoiler, uh, it was uh, Tool, my, the person I do a show with. Uh, where did Mario go in the list of stuff? Did I put it inside the camera? No wonders I'm invisible. There we go. Move it down. Well, no, it's actually perfect where it is. I just need to fix the set, the scene. All right, Mario, transform, reset. And then asymmetrical transform. That we're good. Yep, everything is working as intended, and just as Jeebus would have wanted it. This is not my settings. This is uh, the settings I'd done previously. They didn't save when I messed around. You all know Mario. Right? I'm gonna play through one world, and then I'm gonna mess with the settings and see what it spits out if I do it again. Oh, this is just like a weird rapid fire fireball. Only shooting stars. Oh, 
I do think that this randomizer would be very funny in Arcade Pit. They, but they're always reluctant to put things on Arcade Pit that aren't... ...standard releases of games. When I did Speed Bump, they did some weird modded shit once. That was fun. But, uh, you know how it be. I got the dirty by that piranha plant. That's a very rude piranha plant. See, like, I don't know how this randomizer works, though, because I'm not sure if it can spawn invisible blocks. Or, uh... Like, a block that's inside of another block kind of situation. You know, like, when you get, go and hit one of the brick ones, and then inside of it instead is, like, you know, an item. I don't know if this one can do that. I didn't read all of the documentation. For real? You're not gonna give me anything? This is not even the fourth level! Why am I in a castle? Mario 1 physics! You, you, you have that momentum. You cannot just arrest it. One more try. I did the exact same thing! I thought I was jumping further to the left. As long as you're number one, you'll do well in this game. I was not. Okay, well, let's try that now with a better game. Hold up. Oh. Do I need to uh, run this as admin to do the thing I wanted to do? It seems to pretend that I actually did set my thing correctly. Or it remembered my settings, but it didn't execute those settings, which is concerning. Okay, this should be a different game now. Let's see what happens when I uh, open up my Oh, I shouldn't have closed that. The window size was uh, a custom job. Oops. All right, let's see if I can eyeball how big it should be. Something like that. You son of a bitch. Is it cutting off anything important from the top? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's do the Joel Bowl game. This is Mario. I don't like the blue against blue. That that is challenging. Big Sonic. 
I, I didn't see the option to put a Reimu in there, and it's fucked up. Because you'd think that the people who would put this kind of song as an option would uh, let you be a Reimu. What happens to Sonic, though, when he gets a Fire Flower? That's the question. I tried hitting down on each of those pipes and nothing happened. Oh. That's Sonic with a Fire Flower, all right. He turned into Knuckles. <laughs> Please give me a different kind of world. Nope, same song. Same kind of overworld thing. Ow, oh, son of a bitch. Till I can't break free, I'm slipping through the cracks. Someone on the Paralyzing agony that tells me who I am, who I was. Till I can't break free, and maybe it's a dream, maybe nothing else is real, but it wouldn't feel a thing. Oh. I think those are the Christina V lyrics. Yep. Another overworld so level, so I can't tell if the music is different for Underground. Let's see if the castle music is different, though. I can somewhat guarantee that the fourth level isn't. I like when I hit backwards on a run, he does do the Sonic, like, footstop thing. timing. Oh, Tiny Sonic, though. Tiny Sonic is so small! You know what the problem was? I wasn't singing along to the song. If I was singing along to the song, it would change everything. My feet were on the ground when it came up, but I have to be in the air or else it kills kills you. Eventually this song is gonna drive me insane. Goddamn Koopas. Try to be in the air as much as possible. I don't like that there's blue backgrounds with the Sonic sprite. I find that legitimately upsetting. Oh, Sonic's got a little, little floaty for underwater level. Jump right. Eat shit. <laughs> Almost got messed up because of the the hole sucking you down a bit. I don't see a toad. Did I complete the first world? Is that just what the first world of this random seed is like? No, world 1-5. <laughs> we just keep going until there be a castle. Oh, 
that's a very rude shooting ghost. Beep. Wait. I can jump on them? I guess they are just the bullet bills. I was treating this entire thing though like I couldn't. Knowing that I can, I'm, I can be a little bit more bold, is what I was gonna say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a pause to that. Let's uh, let's make another, let's make a different thing. Let's make a different thing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit full random. And uh, well, except for the difficulty, I'm gonna keep the difficulty on hard generation because I think that's more interesting to play. But uh, let's set a new seed. Uh, is there? And anything else I want to change while I'm here? No, I feel pretty good. Let's make a new level. All right, let's see what happens when I do this. I appear to be Peach. What is there a difference between Joe Boy and Joystick Game? I guess I can't tell until I choose one, right? Like, cause. Oh, this one runs a little janky. I was hoping I got the float, like in Mario 2. I, like, I pushed the button to try to do it and it didn't. Unfortunate. Ooh, that, that turtle is very green. mushroom there. What here? No. There we go. That, this song, when you beat a level... from Mario 2 in this seed? Easy. Easy level. I really need to change this Windows 95 thing if I'm just fucking around like this because, like, it doesn't tell you anything about what I'm actually doing. You remember when Mario came out on Windows 95 and you played as a Princess Peach This is supposed to be hard level generation. I feel like I'm doing a what the fuck, game? I was about to say it seems a little too easy. But then you didn't put an enemy jumping on the end of a long jump. That was a very long fire. Who does Princess Peach save if I make it to the end of this level? Oh, I was so busy, like, contemplating who Princess Peach save, I did not pay attention to fire. I'm gonna remedy that. This time I'll pay attention to fire. There we go. 
I cowered. I, I cowered. I was afraid of the flame. And I tried to go left, and I was like, oh, there's no floor there. You think I would have learned... You think I would have learned from the Gundam game. You don't go backward. You always go forward. And now I can't even play through the beginning part of the level that I just, like, ran through at full speed. Focus. Absolute focus. We're gonna really pay attention and just beat this game. Too much momentum. of Mario 1. Come on. I played this game for many years. I didn't expect to hop off the shell to go that high. Real quick. Where's the joystick game go? I get, I get Daisy. I get a Daisy. All right, new Mario. Do this a couple more times, and then I'll call it. But I just want to see new Mario. This appears to be a shorter Mario. Every time I grab a coin or something, it interrupts the song, and it's amazing. Snowballs for the power up. I'm curious what that does. There it is. Nope, I don't, I don't get to enjoy it. Oh, those aren't solid! Those are decorative clouds! <laughs> Might be solid. I don't like these Koopas, what have things hanging off the top of their heads. Is that thing safe to jump on? Yeah, that's a Koopa. Goomba. Act like I've never seen a Goomba before. Give me the snowballs. I wish to see what the snowball do. I'll never know. The snowballs are forever a mystery. Who do I save at the end of this? Is it gonna be some weird shit? like Dragon Quest song it sounds like I 
better not die. I really needed that mushroom to get through that one enemy. Bowser, what's going on with your bottom jaw, buddy? Jump. All right, Joey Bo. Oh no, it's in another genre. I just wanted to hear what the song is. I don't recognize it. Alright, one more. Let's do another. Give me another. I crave more Mario's. I have a Wario. I don't know what's going out the song. Or when I shoot- when I grab a coin, it sounds like I'm shooting a laser gun. Yeah, I get wah bigger. I'm a little haunted. I never did learn what the snowballs do. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. All weird WarioWare things. Oh, okay. This is just auto fireball again. No, that was a fire flower equivalent. Stars will be something different. That was just a regular power up. Son of a bitch. I didn't even get to really play with the fire. Oh! That thing saved me! Give me that fire. Yeah, it's auto fireballs, but they don't bounce. Which kind of makes them worse, because I can't use them to kind of run behind and give me a little bit of cover. Castle! came out of the water when I grabbed it. That's weird. But the coins go real high in this one. <laughs> Wasn't running enough. I was too enamored with how high coin go. Coins go very high. walks backwards. These coins never existed, really. Can't think about it. That Koopa has hair? Princess in her chalet. Wait, I want to hear the song. That's all right. This is a pretty good song, but it could be it could be better. 
what will this one do to me? Mm, it's another peach. Mm. Give me something different. Give me some variety here. Mm, blue Mario, or as I call them, Blario. What about this one? Ooh, I like the stone textures. Okay, no, I'm gonna go and, uh, real quick, I'm gonna uh, mess around with these, uh, settings and, uh, do something really fucked up. Let's see, what's the most strange combination I can do? Okay, feeling pretty good about this right now. You can't tell what I'm doing, and that's that's part of the appeal. And then, uh, we're just gonna go force the power up. And, uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about this combination. Wait, you done gave me original Mario music? All this lead up and you gave me original Mario music? I'm a little bit upset about that actually. I'm glad to give the Link the pogo. That's like appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this thing's called Pink Fury. It appears to be a, a fireball that doesn't care about objects. I was a little bit more excited about Pink Fury when I thought maybe it was something really weird. Right, well, Pink Fury is actually quite good. Turns out when it can just go up a, a vertical wall. Ducks does. What is Link doing? What happens to Link's legs? What is this? I don't like that. It's just it's just shorter Link. It just transforms into tiny Link. Which now I'm doing as much as possible because I think it looks very strange. <laughs> okay. Eh? Best I can tell, setting the level generation to hard just sometimes puts really long jumps in the middle of nowhere. I could step up the difficulty a couple more notches. I'm curious what it would start doing. I might do that for the next one. Ooh, this song is different. Come on, I tried to jump. That went bad. That went very poorly. Ain't no bow. Very disappointing. Maybe there's a bow in the settings somewhere. I should try and see. But in this generated version, there can't be a bow because all all the power-ups are accounted for. 
Oh, the bow. Zer. I thought because, you know, Link is here. Uh, Link, Link likes a bow. Yeah, let's get to a Bowser. I want to see what's going on there. Wink. Ooh, that was close. That's a that's a green Bowser. <laughs> Wait, what's going on with Toad? Toad, what is up, my my friend? Uh, Toad. Oh wait, what's the song? Ooh, it's an auto scroller. I don't know if this game had those. Uh, okay, let's go. I need I need more. More difficulty. What do we got? Very hard, brutal. Uh, let me let me take you over to where I'm looking. It goes from very easy. I had it on hard. The ghost revisit my camera. We do purest Lagiku throw art plus European bloopers easy. Riddled of bullets. Cheap cheap frenzy. Hammer time. Extreme hammer time. Turn up the heat. Fire bros. It adds fire bros. I'm just, I'm just gonna try brutal. Uh, I set the the graphics to neon edition, but it doesn't seem all that magical, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go and try. Hmm. You know, we need some new Super Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers, we have right now. Aren't it's not super enough, you know what I mean? I guess do some super bo bobble brothers. That seems good. Come on, get on there. Camera, behave. This is the most modern Mario Brothers we could possibly have. That turtle. That turtle's troubling. What if I just didn't jump? What if I push the button too late? The speed at which these turtles move scares me. What do you mean? What's wrong with Baby Mario? Baby Mario looks great. That's a modern Mario. Fucking! <laughs> that other turtle driving 60 down the... the Highway. <laughs> I didn't hold the jump as long. Do I even beat this first level? This is brutal. Hold up, let's go to a, the other the other joystick. Maybe Luigi can do this better. Holy shit! Okay, so this this Luigi does have. Floaty physics. Mushroom, come back! Ooh! They slide, too. Marginally better. I made it to a checkpoint! Mushrooms don't want to be grabbed. <laughs> they just go fuck right off. This is the worst bubble bobble version I've ever heard. I 
I've never heard a worse bubble wobble. This is not even bubble bobble no more. I was promised bubble bobble. I was promised a bubble bob. I was delivered no bubble bob. So, okay, my new objective is to get a mushroom. I just want one. If I can get a single mushroom, I will consider this a one game. Mushroom! Oh! Oh! Look, oh. <laughs> look at this Luigi! That's a Luigi to me. <laughs> Isn't that what Luigi look like? Look at this look of determination. <laughs> look at this strong Luigi. Luigi got feet, Luigi run. Luigi, already markedly better than Mario. On account of beat two levels. And that's not just because I've got a slightly higher jump. It's because... Ooh! Pink Fury! The pink is so angry! You ever see pink <laughs> Luigi? Oh man, this pink Luigi is quite good. This is supposed to be the hardest the Mario can be. I'm making Mario my bitch! I am kind of saying that early because this is the the first world of this. Sorry, was that the Ghostbusters song before I died? No, it's not. It's not the it's not the Ghostbusters song. Well, it, it kind of is a Ghostbusters song. Alright, wait, no, I need, I need to do one more. I'm sorry. I, I need to do one more. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I do need to do one more. Uh, I just... I don't want original. That's my problem. I don't want original Mario in any way. So let's uh let's look for the best possible music. Uh, I'm just like looking at it, really feeling out what music it is. And uh you know, I see something that just says Yoon A, and I'm like, that's that's a Mario. I'm gonna turn the difficulty down just a hair, because brutal was quite hard. We'll just turn it down to very hard. That seems reasonable. Cause Mario, Mario should be quite hard. And that is a stream. <laughs> I can't. I can't anymore. I'm done. That, that Mario... That camera. This camera is very upsetting. That's a stream. I'm... That's a stream. I'm gonna go and just close this down and uh, cuddle up with some... Uh, like a dragon Ishin. That's what I'm gonna do. Thank you for the good night, Jobo Logistic. I beat one game today. 
And I was beaten by economics, which checks out. And I did really like looking at the laser swords. I I could go back to that any day. That scene, that scene from Buddha's Palm or whatever. I need to watch that movie. That movie seems incredible. That man had a laser leg. A leg made of lasers. Could you imagine? Oh, I can't. Anyway, uh, enjoy the closing scene, which is some people who lamentably decided that they wanted to have a lightsaber fight at a wedding. Have a good night. Oh.